this is London Calling number 73. And of course, tonight, London Calling 73 isn't the only big thing that's going on out there in the wibbly wobbly world. It is, of course, England versus Scotland in the Euros. Hence, this is why I wear my England top. What do you reckon of me, folks? I'll tell you what, it's miracles. There'd be a miracle if Scotland beat England tonight. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, folks, as well, it's a bloody miracle that I even managed to get into this because this is like proper retro. It really is. Uh, I love it. And I, you know what? I love the fact that it's Friday. Uh, there's a massive sporting thing going on out there as well. And I'll tell you what we're going to be doing, folks, tonight. We are going to be doing our best to keep you guys up to date with the scores. And currently, folks, it's nil-nil. Of course, it would be because they haven't even kicked off yet. Um, so stay tuned. We'll keep you abreast with it all. And uh, we'll do our best to have some fun along the way. It's going to be quite a different one tonight. Hey, we've got ourselves a super, how's it going? Super, is that a super sticker or is it a super chat? I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I'm super grateful. It's a super sticker. Thank you so much, Tommy Rich. I really appreciate that, mate. That's so kind of you. I'll pop it up in just a tick. I really will. Let me just pop that on there just to remind me. Um, so, yes, yeah, so how have you lot all been? Anyway, as always, folks, you know, it's Friday. It's going to be a bit of a different uh, London calling tonight because there's a few of the team uh, that are going to be watching the England match. And, um, well, some of them are training for marathons. So, Tech, uh, if you've been out there running today, my friend, I wish you all the best. I hope it's gone all right. And to be honest, right, it's not actually a bad day for doing a bit of running, in all honesty, folks. Tech's going to be running the London Marathon this year, folks. So we're going to be supporting him and the charity that he's going to be running for. So um, hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to give you some details of maybe some way that we're going to be able to help him to do all that and carry it all out as well, help him along. Because every little helps, folks. I ran the marathon a few years ago. And I tell you what, it's no easy task, but it is one of the best things I've ever done in my life. It really is, honestly. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's give ourselves some love out there because we've got a few peeps to come in, folks. Uh, they're in the in the panel tonight um, in the green room. Uh, there's a couple of them in there. Going to chop in a bit to come out, um, but also we're going to be joined by a few, quite a few different people tonight, and they're all quite a few of them. I'd say at least I don't know two thirds of them. They're all going to be popping in uh, when they're at lunch, uh, which is kind of kind of nice. We've got we've got people from California. We've got people from Canada. I've got people from New Zealand coming in as well. We've got a Scotsman coming in, uh, which is going to be fun. So I can't wait for that. Oh, we've got another one as well. Another super chat. He says, hey, Greg, uh, let's get the uh, Monarch brick on the wall. I would definitely get you on the wall, my friend, in just a tick. I promise you. <laughs> and thank you very much, Tommy, for your one as well. That's going to be turning into the Menarch wall. It really is. But anyway, let's say hello to a few peeps that are out there. We've got Finn O'Sullivan. He's been here since the beginning. We've got Echo Bricks out there as well. Captain Zane, Captain Zane, the beautiful, the wonderful Captain Zane. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we've got Simon out there, a mega man. Uh, we've also got the wonderful abs bricks as well abs i'm so happy that you liked your uh little story that i put up earlier on this week on instagram brick ty is out there as well uh and anyway folks what i want to know as well who who do you want to win tonight are you are you are you rooting for the scots or are you rooting for the english so uh, let me know in the chat s for scots e for english uh and i don't really mind either way folks because i'm a big football fan um but I will be rooting for England, really. I've got to, I'm wearing an England top. It'd be silly if I didn't. Uh, we've got Philly with Bricks out there. Hello, mate. Thank you so much as well for your Instagram story. That, do you know what? That absolutely made my day because someone had gone way out of their way, shoot a video and pop it on Instagram for me, about me. It's amazing. Honestly, made my day. Really did. Thank you, brother. Really appreciate that. Uh, we've got John's Bricks out there and John Gurnett. He says, evening all, England on the TV and LBB. Perfect. Cheers, dude. Uh, we do our best. And I'm wearing my England top with pride tonight, folks. I really am. Uh, who else we got out there as well? We've got loads of people. We've got the wonderful tech productions as well saying, hey, everyone. I'm missing your tech. I really am. Um, but hopefully, folks, we'll be catching up with them a little bit later. Because at 10.30 uh, UK time, and that is, of course, um, 7.30 EST. Oh, no, it's not 7.30. It's 5.30 EST USA time. We're going to be popping over to I'm Bored Toys and jumping in on this stream. I'll be jumping in for about half an hour anyway. Got a little poly bag to build for Monkey Kid. And also, we've got Lego Madness out there as well. So anyway, let's start bringing some peeps in. Uh, thank you so much. I even put the super chat uh, tag out there on the chat yet, but I will be. But if anyone wants to support the channel, folks, um, it's quite easy. 
I'll be put, popping your name on the London wall like that. And then what I'll do is I'll give you a shout out over the course of the weekend on Instagram. It's as easy as that. So anyway, we'll leave it there for now. I just want to say hi to everyone as well. Uh, we've got the, uh, the the minifig who out there as well. I don't make, love all your stuff on Instagram as well. I'm a big Doctor Who fan. And I love seeing what you do out there. So anyway, let's get ourselves our first guest on tonight, folks. We're going to pop over to America. We're going to pop over to a part of America that when you dwell in there, right, you realize you're surrounded by ninja. Who am I talking about? Of course you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Mr. Ninja himself. He's, of course, Titanium J. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? I'm doing well. You are looking well, actually. And I'm honestly, folks, he has done some seriously good mock work on some Ninjago sets that he's got. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. And one or two sets from some other themes as well, which is kind of exciting. I'm really looking forward to it, dude. And he's going to be building. Look at this. He's actually yeah. going to be building, building something. Going to be building this Trouble on Tatooine set tonight. The Trouble on Tatooine. That's a great little set, actually. I think uh, I, I personally haven't built it yet. I I'm pretty sure Tech has. Uh, and it comes with the new Mandalorian with the Beskar armor, does it not? Yes, it does. Fantastic. Okay, folks. Well, we will be looking forward uh, to watching him build that and checking out the figures that it comes with it as well. Ah. Uh, someone else who's in the chat open build repeat hello mate i saw you a little bit earlier on this week uh streaming as well it's nice to see you um i had to get you on here one night i'd love to get you on here I mean, you've been around for ages i've just never had the opportunity to ask you but uh, if you ever fancy it drop me a drop me a line on uh, instagram my friend I'd love to have you on anyway uh Someone who I am, I, I don't know really, is it, we're kind of like the terrible twins we are, these, these, these two uh, titanium. We, we are synonymous uh, with each other. Uh, if, if um, You know what? My family actually do descend from Ireland, uh, as, as probably been about 99% of the population of the planet, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get him on, shall we? He's just uh, licking his lips at the moment, folks. He's been, I think he just bought a roll from Greg's earlier on uh not me personally the shop gregs uh let's get him on shall we he's uh, he's a great friend he is of course mr Cy O connor hello dude hey everybody hi it was no it wasn't the sausage roll so it was just a plain roll with some ham and some cheese and some lettuce no butter on it a little bit of pepper and there you go awesome wow there's there's someone who's very particular <laughs> oh yeah are you super particular mr o'connor <laughs> Are you uh, so? Uh, well, was it was it from Greg's or Subway or anybody else, or was it from Lorraine? Lorraine got all this stuff and I put it together. Oh, well, very good, very good. Look at that. He's he's got skills, folks. He's got skills. Um, <laughs> what can I say? Hey, we've got Brett Spields out there. Hello, Brett Spields. Hey, Brett. You blooming ages. How are you doing? Uh, Brett Spields in uh, High London Bridge Bricks, uh, Bricky T Y, Sayo kind of open build repeat, Titanium J, Lego Madness. Brett. Where you been? I, I, did, what was it the other night? I think it was on our stream site. I was only saying, where where the devil, where the dickens, I said, is, is Brett. I've not seen him for an absolute age. Um, yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, and then when I looked at the 72-hour live stream, the community stream, folks, it is a thing. It's going to be coming up in August. Um, I saw Brett's name on it. I was like, well, that's good. He, the guy's obviously around. He's alive still. Um, and he's going to be, I think he's streaming on Saturday. Anyway, let us know uh brett uh great to see you dude i haven't seen you for a while mate i missed you um who else we got out there we've got uh open build it says hey 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 bricks dy so kind of lego madness good to see you guys uh fooling with bricks says bricky ty you won't be disappointed it's an awesome set well i tell you what is an awesome set guys is the set that i've been building this week um and that is of course the wonderful oh let me just say that uh we've got flx out there as well hi flx good to see you dude uh, there's gonna be a lot of that uh honestly folks what i want from you lot tonight right because this is it for now this is the panel for now we've got literally about another six people who are going to be shooting in and out uh, all the way through the evening including the scotsman from new zealand uh that is cool so i bet i've got a funny feeling right he's going to wait until about half hour before the end of the game and he's going to be waiting to see si, how badly scotland are losing would you reckon <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> I know I would, that's for sure. Uh, I was not hiding for nothing. Uh, let's face it. Um, tech Productions out there, the lovely tech says, uh, uh, like the stream uh, if you support England tonight. Yes, come on, folks. If you speak English, 
Uh, give it, give the channel, give, give the give the stream a thumbs up. That's that's good enough, surely. <laughs> if you speak English, surely you support England. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, just throwing it out there. Uh, <laughs> we've got Doc Sampson out there. Now, now, sorry, the other night when we was talking about Doc Sampson and the fact that Doc Sampson tends to review his uh, the, the 72-hour community stream, uh, we came up with an idea, didn't we, that we should review his stream because it has to be independent, doesn't it? So but I, I haven't heard anything back yet from Doc. Have you? As in, like, that he wants us to do that, or if he's going to take part? Yeah, they, they, I'm pretty sure he's going to take part. Um, I, I think he's taking part. Doc, are you taking part? Uh, but I think, I thought, because then we call it the, 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 the Bog and Bath or something like that. Uh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. One off collab, a uh, bit of, bit of, uh, bit of a uh, movie review of Doc Sampson. <laughs> anyway, Doc, uh, get your people to talk to my people and we'll take it from there. Uh, FLX is out there saying that the Scotsman's were coming at half time and when they're losing. I don't know, FLX. I think I think it's damage limitation with him, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I love Richard a bit, so I really do. But very few people know he's actually Scottish. They all think he's a Kiwi. Uh, yeah. Only Kiwi going till 10, Bricky T. Why? Ah. Um, what's it say? E, Greg. Uh, but also speak Scottish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we, can't, we can't speak perfect English tech, blimey. Uh, but there we go. Uh, the Scots have got their own little, how can I put it, twang on the things. Uh, who else we've got going on? Because why? If England lose, uh, Tech Productions has to buy a Ninjago set. Oh, yeah. That sounds interesting. What do you reckon about that tech? Um, I don't know. If anyone watches back, actually, this week we came out, I came out of a Lego haul. And I, I'm pretty sure it's the first one where two YouTubers have actually done a Lego haul together in one video. So anyway, I uh, I came out this week with it. It's uh, it's on my channel. Check check back, folks. You'll find it down in the description below, uh, where you'll find, obviously, details of all these lovely gentlemen as well. Uh, and i tell you what, what's uh, pretty cool about it is that it's on the back. It's like a two-parter, really. The vlog, the vlog comes up first. You'll see that on Tech Productions' channel. Again, you'll see the link down in the description below. Just follow my link, and then you'll find the link to that. And then watch the Lego haul afterwards, folks. Honestly, it's quite funny. We're fooling around, and we're certainly fooling around. We really are. And I genuinely mean that, folks. I really, really do. Abby, the brick school is out there. She says, uh, I'm going to have to put you lot on the computer today uh, because footy, footy goes on telly. Oh, thank you, uh, Abby. Do appreciate that because it, it's good for me stats. It really is. <laughs> uh, the England football game probably isn't. But you know what, folks? We're embracing it, aren't we, Si? We are. We are. We were like that embracing it. We are. We are. We, 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 had, a, we had a little hug. Before, before the game started, and then boom, here we are. Uh, who else we got out there? Did I just see Cranky uh, drop in as well? Was there a Cranky out there? Uh, <laughs> what did we see? Not I there we go. There's a Cranky. Is it eager to lose? You have, all, you, you have to buy me Lego. <laughs> I'll buy you something, Cranky. Do you, know, do you know what, Tech? I don't even think we, we mentioned to Cranky, but Cranky uh, has got a display at Westfields. Now, we actually showed it on... Uh, text vlog this week, right? Uh, I don't think we told Cranky that she's on it, uh, or at least that we're showing off a thing. And we even did a little song for her on it. So, Cranky, you're going to have to check that out, you are, because when we show it off, we do a little go, Cranky, go, Cranky, go, Cranky, little chat, a yeah, little tune for you, a little chat and tune. Uh, we've got the lovely Lorraine Fox O'Connor out there as well. Hey, Lorraine Fox, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Um, thank you for, uh, how can I put it, buying superlative ingredients for my good friend Si O'Connor as well. Now, what I do want to know is, is what T-shirts we're all wearing tonight. Because uh, I don't expect Si to be wearing an England shirt. <laughs> far, far from it, really. Um, but Si, what, um, <laughs> what, what, it'd be quite curious if he was. Maybe I'll tell you what we do one day. When I come over there, right, I'll buy you an England shirt. You can buy me an Irish shirt. That'd be quite fun. I'll start with that. I don't know if you can get me in Prime Army, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> just don't just don't go out anywhere uh, in, in Ireland wearing it, though, Si, because I might never see you again. Uh, but anyway, let's, um, let's see what shirt he's wearing, because he looks like a bit of a Mandalorian one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, dude, that is really, really cool. Thank you. You can tell, though. The only problem is you can only you can tell it's season one or two, can't you? <laughs> That's it. It's always stated. Now, that was never going to be in it again. I, I mean, I, I'm really scared for The Mandalorian because 
he, he was like, he was the main part of it, wasn't he? He really was. Yeah. I think yeah. I, I think he might have been unintentional, but I genuinely think he was the biggest part of it. He really was. Um, uh, Menarch and Brett, uh, Doc's giving his thumbs up to them. Uh, and he's saying, hi, yeah, Kevin. Oh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Yeah, I'm bored toys. There we go, folks. He'll be in a little bit late. He goes, hi, everyone. I'll be able to jump in on that later he certainly will be folks because i sent him the link now so he's got no no choice in the map he'll be in a little bit later uh and also we'll be hyping up his stream that he's got coming up straight and i mean straight after our one it really is uh cranky saying oh my goodness football singing this isn't encouraging me to finish finish getting many oh cranky don't worry i won't be i won't be singing any other songs blimey uh no, I, the, 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 I'll be kicked out of, I say kicked out of land, I'm not even in land. Uh, but honestly, yeah, some of the songs I know from the uh, the West Ham stand, the chicken run for all you uh, oldies out there. Uh, yeah, you're, um, I won't be singing any of them, that's for sure. Imperial Bricks in the house. He's new, Simon. So never heard of him, have you? Nope. Welcome. Uh, welcome, Imperial Brick. I do like your avatar. Very swoosh, my friend. Very swoosh indeed. But anyway, folks, what I'd like you to do, as always, He's, uh, he's Friday, after all. He's done the calling. If you've taken any pictures this week, if you've built anything, or even if you haven't, take a picture now of something that you've built this week of Lego, <laughs> right? And send it in. DM me on Instagram, and I'll show it off later on in the show. It's as easy as that, folks. It really is. Blimey, someone, someone sounds like they're, 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 they're clipping their nails. Is that you, Titanium? You no, I, your... was, I was clipping oh, the hinge piece together. Oh my that's God, that's got some that. serious clutch power there, my friend. Wowzers, that really has. Uh, that's it. That's it. I thought that was side cutting his toenails or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and then eating them. Yeah, yeah well, I won't go that far, mind you. I, I don't know if you eat too much lettuce, anything will give that a little bit of flavor. Uh, but anyway, moving on swiftly. Uh, I, I do did want you to say hello. To, did you say hello to Lego or to Estonia? I'm 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 just breaking through them because we've got Oliver Thackeray out there as well. He's got a very funny version, uh, <laughs> a very funny avatar. He's got to do one. Says, uh, "Bet there's going to be uh, that one kid who puts actual ink in the typewriter to see if it's upstairs." Yeah, because they keep saying, don't they, uh, that it's a working typewriter. Um, yeah, yeah. Someone will say otherwise. That's for sure. Uh, anyway, who have I got to say hello to? Is it this chap? Yes, I, I don't know who it is. Well, I tell you who it is, right? It's Lego R2 uh, Space SW. Now, I don't think that's SW as in Southwest London. I think that's SW as in Star Wars. Uh, Lego R2 SW, welcome to the stream. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, anybody who's new out there, please do me a favor. Right, one, give the stream a thumbs up. Two, check out these two. They're down in the description below. You'll find all their details. Titanium J here to my right, and Sai just a little bit below me down there. Uh, and also as well, if you happen to be completely new around here, why not think about subscribing, hopping on and becoming a big part of the LBB family? So that's what you lot all are to me. You're all part of the LBB family. You really are. Um, so, Titanium, how are you getting on with your build, your clicky build? I uh, just uh, finished bag one. Bag one? Blimey, you did that quick. Bag one is, is, is old, essentially yeah. the best build. What do you think about it so far? Is it a I good build? Yeah, yeah. It's a great build. I love this bike. It's really good. Mm -hmm. That is a nice bike, my friend. It really is. Uh, HR Bricks, good to see you, dude. Uh, look at all that Lego he's got around him, folks. He's like literally sitting in Ninjago City, isn't it? Isn't it wonderful? Brilliant. Wonderful stuff indeed. Uh, look at me. I sound, like a, I, sound, I sound like I'm all relaxed. I really do. I'm not really, folks. <laughs> um, Captain Zane. I am. I'm quite, I'm, I'm, I'm quite chilled out. I'm quite relaxed. Uh, and I'm quite excited because um, well, there's, there's only a few of us on at the moment. We've got some exciting people coming in. I, I, I'm kind of quite hyped for it, in, in all honesty. Plus, I'm a bit excited as well for the match tonight. But anyway, let's keep going. We've got creativity out there as well. Good to see you, Duke. Welcome to the stream. So tell us a little bit about uh, your week, Sai, um, other than the bits that's including me. Has there, have you done anything else this week? <laughs> well, on Monday, I woke up and I got out of bed and I used the bathroom. Then I went down and I had some toast and then I had some tea as well. And then after that, I watched some TV. Uh, well, oh, you don't mean from Monday to, to now, like everything I did. <laughs> <laughs> only, yeah. I only want to know the sordid bits. But what, <laughs> what about in, world of, in the world of Lego? What videos have you done this week? Because you did a really... Uh, the thing is, folks, we like to pull on 
different people from different backgrounds in Lego and stuff like that. Uh, but this week on uh, the Sio Connor stream, he actually got someone in from TikTok, which was kind of interesting. Yes, yeah, so there is a Lego community on TikTok, like there is on Instagram and Twitter. Not so much, but people are there and here on YouTube. So, um, Bricking Up Brad is a Lego TikToker on um, TikTok. So, I discovered him one day on TikTok, and I, I really liked his stuff. And anyway, so I contacted him, asked him would he like to come on to the stream, uh, and he came on last night. The replay, obviously, is still there, so you can go and have a look. It was a really good, fun uh, stream, and, you know, he, he explains what goes on in TikTok and you know the community there and you know everything from how to get started on tiktok so if you're thinking of getting started doing any kind of tiktoks it, it's the same stuff get yourself a camera get into it do it and uh, yeah but it was really good it was great fun and he, he was a really good guest as well loads to say and yeah it was it was awesome um, obviously, we had Sarah Starbricks there. We had Greg, and um, we had Solo Brick Builder. Uh, yeah, you, Greg, and um, yeah, it was good fun. We didn't have anyone else, did we? That was it last night. Um, yeah, it was, it was, I, I quite like these intimate panels. I, I, honestly, folks, I know I get tend to get loads of people on London calling, but to be honest, it's sometimes just by complete coincidence than than it's more luck. Uh, than planning i only ever plan to have about six people on at a time and then as the week goes on things change and people's plans change and they sort of say well can i come on this one i'm like yeah okay fine and we've got someone new coming on a little bit later folks uh someone who when they finish their work uh, they're going to hop on hopefully for the last hour or so so look out for her folks uh it's going to be someone quite new uh to the community and someone that i quite really really quite i mean i'm into at the moment and and seriously though she knows so much about Star Wars. It's phenomenal. I think I'm going to, I absolutely, 100%, I'm going to learn stuff from her, but like without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, and I can't wait to see, I can't wait to see her. But all will be revealed a little bit later. <laughs> later. Um, but no, I was thinking of some new ideas for um, videos and stuff. So I came, I'm not going to go into it at all because I don't want anyone to steal it. But I, I, I'm going to be... It'll be once a week, a video once a week, and it's going to parody somebody, not a famous person, but not to, and not take their ideas. So basically, I'll, it's inspired by somebody, and um, I will obviously credit them, but it's going to be a Lego version of something somebody does. A Lego version of something somebody does. So it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually have to be a Lego channel. It could be any sort of channel. Oh, it's definitely not a Lego channel, no. All uh, right, that's good. That's all, that's good. That sounds good. I'm liking that. New ideas. I did. Do you know what I'm going to do starting this weekend? I've got a load of shorts that I've done over the, over time, folks. I might as well start uploading some of them to TikTok. Yeah, do definitely. Oh, definitely. Now, someone who's always, always someone who we're missing tonight, folks, is always he's never missed one. He's never missed one uh, in all of seventy three. This is going to be the first one he misses. Uh, he's solo brick builder. But anyway, solo. Thanks for being here, mate. In the chat, we really do appreciate it. Uh, because he is a nice guy, folks. He really is. Uh, I'm loving the fact that he's changed his avatar to um, uh, to the picture that Matt did of him, because that is a very cool picture, don't you think, so? Si? Yeah, it's awesome. It suits him. Yeah, it, it, it is him actually. I just I, we, have we ever got to the bottom of why Matt always puts flies around him? I I don't know. Artistic. Art, it's an artistic thing. I think it is, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Ah, oh, delicious foods. Thank you so much. I tell you what, folks, we've got some peeps out there that are really big fans of Sinai. I mean, genuinely, they, 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 you know, they proportionately uh, get, give us these super chats. Lovely. And we really appreciate it, folks. And I'm not, I, I, I'm actually looking to buy a new camera as well. I want to get, actually, funny enough, I wanna, I'm thinking of getting the one that Sai wants to get. I was thinking yeah. about getting the old one, but Sai's kind of talking me into getting the new one. Uh, the newer version of it, which is kind of better, I suppose, Definitely. is a newer one. Um, but he says, delicious foods, uh, says, I'm lurking for England versus those pesky Scots. Uh, good to see you in the usual suspects. Hi, chat. Ah, well, thank you so much, my friend. And I tell you what, has anyone seen on the news the Scots invading London tonight? Uh, <laughs> it's Leicester Square. They're, they're outside the Lego store. You can't quite see the Lego store logo, uh, but that's okay. where they're outside. Could you imagine that, folks? You're going up there to buy some Lego. Right, and you got a load of old shifty Scotsmen in your way trying to get you trying to get your sets. We can say, we can say, if anyone's been up to uh, the Leicester Square store today, uh, good luck to you. That's all I can say to that. But anyway, I hope everyone had some good fun. And there's a good segue into our next guest. 
It is actually, it is. Um, they don't get all cranky on me, Si. Um, but anyway, folks, it's time to time to go up a gear uh, and uh, get a little bit on the, uh, let's get some cranky love going, shall we? Uh, I've missed her, actually. I've really missed her. This is someone, honestly, folks, I generally, generally adore watching this person on Twitch. I really do. She is, in fact, uh, my favourite Twitcher. It is, of course, the wonderful, the lovely Cranky Bricks. Hello. Hi. That's Hi. very kind of you. you. Do you feel like you think I wasn't listening to the last five minutes of the conversation? <laughs> You're trying to make up for it. You're just like, you're my favourite Twitch streamer. You're just so good. I just love watching you do what you do. But by the way, I hate the Scots. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what you're saying, right? I, I don't hate the Scots, right? They, they, they're there. You know, I know that I, they're, they're, they're there for a reason. And uh, no, I love the Scots. Really. But I tell you what, I tell you what, in about a week's oh. time, in a week's time, I'm going to be within touching distance of Scotland, I am. Uh, so you never know, I might even go up there myself. I might invade Scotland. Uh, and I might not. I don't know. I'm a bit outnumbered actually here tonight because look at it. Look at it. I think this is the first time, folks, on the panel. Uh, we, we, we've got an American, right? Uh, they're not the biggest lovers of the Brits. Uh, we, we've, got, we've got an Irishman. Uh, you know, there's different, there can be, there, there can be the, the odd occasion there that goes a bit uh, <laughs> crazy. Uh, and then we've got the old uh, cranky Scots as well. So it's a bit like a joke, really, isn't it? Have, you, have I ever told you about about the Englishman, Irishman, Scotsman? Oh God! <laughs> been dying for for months. He's been dying to say one of these things for months. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, I'm, do you know what I was actually going to do? I I said to Sky, I'm, I'm pretty sure when Sky first started streaming, cranky, I said, do you know what I want to do? I want to get an Englishman or woman doesn't really matter. Uh, of, of Scottish origin, um, uh, an Irishman. So Sai was obviously the, the one because try, trying to find Irish uh, Lego YouTubers is like trying to get blood out of a stone. They're there, um, but they, they, they're kind of um, they're very shy. They're like they're like badgers. They're very shy creatures. Like <laughs> badgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, they're like badgers, but without the uh, the nice furry cuddly coat and. Uh, Got all the claws, right? Uh, yeah, they, they, they got claws on the bloody. Don't get in between one. I, I, do you know, what? I was walking straight up. I'm walking in the middle of London, right? I'm walking in the middle of London. I'm walking down the road, minding my own business, and there's, there was a there's a badger charging at me. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I've never seen, and I see the claws on it. The claws must have been two inches long. And I was just like, what do I do? I've never, I've never been in this scenario before. And luckily for me. Right, this was even weirder. It just it just chucked a quick left or a right for the badger's point of view, anyway. Right, and he sh he went he just smashed through a gate. It was a it was a metal gate, crash bang wallop, milk bottles everywhere, and he just disappeared down a garden. And I was like, blimey, uh, someone. Yeah, it, it was it was a it was a crazy moment of my life, folks, and one that I'm deeply happy that I shared with you. It must uh, have been just when lockdown finished. If I had claws that long, I was running to get down to the to get the nails done. It gets down, stab. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Cranky's in. Being, being that I'm a gentleman, folks. I'm a gentleman, believe it or not. Cranky's probably thinking, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, but let's pop, let's pop her up there. There we go. Let's perch her up there because she's lovely. Um, so yeah, Cranky, um, you've got something pretty cool to your left over there. What's going on there? That looks like something quite awesome. Quite awesome. Ah, oh, yeah, it is. It is. This is my um, this is my tricky bricks build challenge, my rainbow build challenge. Oh. Month, Pride month. Um, oh no, it's Ooh. one of them's uh, off kilter. There we go. Ooh. Oh, honestly, cranky. That's so good. This is why I love cranky on here, folks, because she just basically shows. She just I don't. Know, she shows me up, but she in in a very classy way. She really does. So uh, do we want to do the, um, does everybody know that Clickets is actually Lego test? <laughs> How many people know what Clickets is um, and uh, would recognise it when they saw it? It, it sounds like a, a bit of, uh, something I should go to the doctors about. But uh, <laughs> does it affect the kneecaps? Mm. Oh, no, that's Ricketts, sorry. Um, uh, tell us about it then, because uh, this is the thing with Cranky, folks. Cranky is a London atoll, just like me. Uh, the difference in between me and Cranky is Cranky knows what she's talking about. <laughs> Cranky? There's many differences, yes. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us about your, 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 your Clickets. <laughs> well, this is just a... Um... Was it Clickets? Oh, my goodness. 
Yes, yes, oh, it is. Ricky. <laughs> All right. Not Ricky. Um, click it. Not Ricky. Yeah. Ricky. <laughs> so click it was um Lego's well, so some people think it was a failed attempt and some people think it was a successful attempt to um go into the sort of jewelry and stationery world. You know, long before dots. So this was uh, around like early 2000s that it came out and basically each of these um, uh, each of these little sort of flowery pieces um, clicks into a hole which is about the same size as a stud but actually not quite the same size unhelpfully um, and then I'll show you one of those as well so that's the back of the flower which just has a sort of clip but it's not a technic pin and it's not a stud sorry mm. going the wrong way a mirrored um, so it's not fully, it's not fully, fully compatible with the Lego system, but it is enough. the The holes fit studs in, so that you can. Mm, let me put that back together. So these are all just um, with a. Uh, there are studs behind them, uh, studs or jumper plates, um, and they're just sitting on top of those. And my lighting is very off today. I don't know why. So um, it's very bright. Look, I, I, it might, you know what it might be? It might be just the white on the, because that's something that's quite rare, is the white base place you got there. I've only ever seen them actually at the Lego store in Leicester Square. Yeah, they, well, you can get them, you can get them on lego.com. Um, yeah, they're just a, they're the same as the blue and um, green ones now. You can just buy them yourself. So yeah, yeah I got some, uh, got some white ones but yeah that's my everyone is awesome build so if anybody else hasn't done one yet then make sure you check out tricky bricks on instagram and look for their uh, uh look for their build challenge um to celebrate pride month there we go folks now i will uh, i would admit there is one missing in my one the green one <laughs> um but i was using the green one for a photo shoot in my garden uh oh look the, the, the this one's really gone for a wobbly one there but there we go that's the awesome set and honestly folks it is it is a really lovely set me and Sai, we love this we really do um the uh, uh cranky does as well i think most people yeah. do I, I, I don't know one person who doesn't like the set and i've got so many gay friends right all, all my game i've got a load of gay friends folks i mean you guys let's face it right but i i've got and there's such good laugh honestly i have such good times with them but some of them I haven't spoken to for ages because of COVID and all that sort of thing. But they'll be getting in touch with me on Facebook saying, can I be in your club? And I'm like, yeah. what club do you want to be in then? And then what they do is they send me pictures showing me this Lego set that I've got. And it's like, oh, that's so cool. I love it. That's what it's all about. It's brilliant, isn't it? It really is. Um, I've got to ask, though, what, who's your, what, what's your favourite figure? Mm. I like the red one. Ah, yeah, I knew Sai would like the red. Red or black, I was going to go for for you, yeah. Sai. Um, <laughs> I reckon, I reckon titaniums could be red as well. Funny enough, um, but I'm going to ask him in a minute. Uh, but Cranky, what's your favourite colour or I'm, figure? Favourite figure? I'm a bit well, so I'm torn between two of them because um, so my favourite colour for the minifigure parts has got mm. to be the bright light blue. Oh yeah, that is a because nice because I part. love the minifigure parts for this. Mm -hmm. But I'm not the, I mean I'm not such a fan of the hair piece. You know, it's not the most exciting or extravagant. No. Um and I think I think this might be my favorite hair piece. Um oh. which is the black one. Yeah. Yeah, see, because it's, it's so much detail. Let me oh it's never going to um it's pretty good. Focus. But good. um maybe you can we can show your version of it instead, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> my camera's not going to focus so but you, we've all got the same set so you just well, let me see but, if i can um, i can show you this one here uh i've got the lego uh to uh, display it on but there we go folks let's see if that works better see if yours works better oh, it's giving it a go it did it for a second <laughs> and then it, it went it, back to you again oh there it goes so, yeah, oh, yeah. But I, I think that. that's my favorite so that's why i'm kind of giving two answers because the, the bright light blue is the most interesting new color but yeah. the hairpiece is a bit boring, and yeah, okay. I love um, I love the now, details in that hairpiece. Now, cranky, let it be known, folks, that I've never uh, that I don't mock because I do mock, folks. I really do. I normally get you mock mocked. us. <laughs> I, I get mocked. Don't worry about that. Um, I will be tonight if England lose as well. But there we go, folks. There's your mock for you. Uh, everyone is awesome. Mock. That is that is, that is the ideal cranky figure. What can we say? 
So is it is it Bellatrix, uh, the name of the character out of Harry Potter? Uh, no, I don't think that's. I think Bellatrix the Stranger's hair is much is like um, off to long. one side and down. Yeah, this longer, is. Yeah. Um, I think this one first came out in. Uh, um, well, I first got it in a city minifigure pack with the, mm -hmm. the one with the little ducklings in it, um, with the rings like the, the rings around the, the ducks. Fairground, um, pack, the fairground it? one, yeah. yeah. Um, but then it also came into in a CMF um, in a collectible minifigure um, for the. Um, what was, was she a computer programmer? I think she was a computer programmer. I think she came first in the CMF and then was the other way. I can't remember, but yeah, yeah. She I don't know which one came first, program. but those around the same time, weren't they? Mm. Yeah. Let me, let me show you the the red one because this is your favorite one, isn't it, Sai? Yeah. Okay, so this is Sai's favorite one. This is the red one, folks. Now, the reason I think this could also be the favorite one for um, uh, Titanium uh, is that it, it kind of reminds me of Kai. Um, but Titanium, which one's your favorite one? I'd have to say the red one, yeah. Ah, uh, like the red one. Yes, yes, he knows his panelists. Um, my favorite one, and again, it's because it's my favorite color, but I think he's got super hairstyle, folks. And probably about 20 years ago, I had a similar hairstyle to this. Um, and that's this guy. Uh, it's the blue, it's the blue one. Oh yeah. There we go. Uh, I think not, just not, build it. That agrees with you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not quite there anymore. But uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I do my best, folks. I do my that best. Um, but it is, that is a really cool one, isn't it? I really did like yeah. that. Uh, so much. I love it. The great color as well. I love blue. You might know it, folks. Look at the background. Kind of seamlessly. Mm -hmm. uh, Blending. It's like it's incognito. Anyway, oh. enough of me being incognito. Let's go back to everybody else. There we go. What a lovely, beautiful panel we have tonight. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, yep, Greg, I agree. Thank you, Renard. I really appreciate that. Um, Doc Samson saying Kai is best. Uh, Oliver Thackeray. Kai is uh, the bird. Kai is the what? Sorry, Kai is the burst. <laughs> Kai is the burst. He, uh, you know, he's built wrong. He only he has only three fingers and they're furry, so he can't type properly. You see, so. that's true. Actually, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> you must get two keys accidentally, sort of tap down. I suppose as well. Uh, yeah. it, it must be a nightmare as well if it rains or something like that. Um, yeah, uh, hundred percent. Um, all good, cranky, all good. So, anyway, let's go back to the chat, shall we? Um, what do we think, uh, folks? Actually, do you know what? I want to ask you, lovely lot out there, what's your favourite colour? What's your? I mean, basically, I want to know what your favourite colour and fig is. So, if you if you like, I don't know, I'm going to call this sort of lilac, baby blue, light blue. Sky blue is actually my favourite colour, and that's not quite sky blue. It's a bit too pale for that. I do like it really do but let me know um put, put, let me know what your favorite color from the awesome uh, set is folks and um i'm liking i tell you what cranky I'd, what i'm liking as well and tell me what you think about this folks all the peeps out on instagram uh who have been doing kind of slight deviations uh to this as well and do, i saw someone today say they did dinosaurs and i thought that was really cool it was so cool wasn't it? i was like oh my god that is awesome just like all these and like when when, when flynn and and richard said you know think of something cool nothing like that popped into my brain at all i was just thinking linear rainbow i did you know and everyone was like thinking of different colored bloody yeah, yeah there was another one that was really cool it was um it was the it was a lot of stormtroopers and they were painting over the rainbow oh, yeah, they were Hey. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How so never... the rebels have got to come back and paint the rainbow back in again. Yeah. Yeah. I love. I can't yeah. remember who that was, but I thought that was ingenious. But yeah, so jealous that I don't have um the uh, <laughs> the creativity like them. Ah, uh, he's cool though, isn't it? Everyone kind yeah. of sees things differently, and that's what I love about the Lego community. Uh, I really do, folks. So um slug buggers is uh, because i love the lime green uh, but they didn't use that color so it's a toss between the yellow and the light blue i do like the yellow he's got a cool hairstyle i put a picture out earlier on on instagram uh, that included him as well um but what about your bill titanium how are you getting on with that i am almost finished oh wow he is great it puts us to shame oh what look Someone else who puts us to shave is him. Look, come on, show, show us off your new hairstyle. Don't show because the mic is just there. <laughs> I know, leg. How you doing? Good. We are fortnighting it. Fortnite. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Where did you get your t shirt from? 
It's wonderful. Where, um, after after Monday. After Monday, that's what you say. But um, where where did you buy it? Um, in pennies. Yeah, pennies. So Primark. Yeah. They call it Primark in the UK. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, what do you call it in Ireland, Si? Pennies. P e n n y s. Really? Okay. And it's the same shop. It's it's an Irish company. Yeah. Ah, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know that. The, the, the headquarters. I don't. I think the UK conglomerate may have bought it and it merged it all in. But originally, I, an Irish company. Um, the headquarters in in Dublin, and um, yeah, I mean, there's one in New York as well. It's Primark in New York. I never knew that. Yeah. Oh, but the reputation was never good over here up until a few years ago when. Um, the quality got better and they started getting different brands in. So I bought Lego t-shirts in there and I get all my superhero mm. t shirts there. Yeah, they've got lots of partnerships now. Yeah, I know. Really cool. yeah, you could spend 50 quid in there and fill your wardrobe, really. <laughs> yes, yeah, that is true, actually. Yeah. Uh, you'll get a good season out of it, that's for sure. Yeah. They need um, to do something with the shoes. The shoes are rubbish, so it's not that age. Okay, yeah, so yeah. sort it out, Primark. Uh, <laughs> Um, Cranky, where do you go? Because you wear, you've got some Ninjago stuff the same as me. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and blatantly, folks, we, we, there was there was a week, probably about a month ago, where everyone who was streaming all of a sudden had loads of new Ninjago uh, stuff to wear. And Cranky had like leggings and uh, tracksuit tops and stuff like that. Uh, I think it was it leggings or was it a uh, tracksuit bottom? Well, it depends what size you get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's true. Well, so I bought this uh, stuff uh, from Hype, and it was <laughs> it, it could have got me and him in it. It really could have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is he gone? Where's he going? No leg. Bye, no leg. <laughs> I had to get. I have to get. Hang on. So there, it, I kept it. I oh, kept still it, got it. I thought we might talk about it today. So look, it's <laughs> enormous. <laughs> it's massive. So you've got to go into it, Si. It's huge. I love that, yeah. but it's awesome. But um, yeah. So I, 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 I didn't bother sending it back. I should have because I don't think they've any left. But um, I do want more. Yeah, I, 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 I like him. Are you going to get no leg any? Because I, do you know what? I've actually got a top. I bought a top, and it's it's basically it's small, folks. It's so small. I mean, I wouldn't even get my arm in it in all honesty. Uh, I, uh, I, I tell you what, so I, when I post over those. Um, Hanley figures, because uh, I can post them to you now. Um, I I'm going to send you a little gift as well for no lag. Perfect. Isn't that cool? And, and I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it's pucker. Do, do you know what? I'm going to go and get it. Let me go and get it. I'll go and get it. I'll show you what it is. Uh, wait there, folks. I'll be 30 seconds, as long as it's where I think it is. Because um, <laughs> you know what it's like. But you know what men are like, folks. We just put things down. And we wonder weeks later when we come back, where they gone? Where they gone? But anyway, um, give me two. Uh, give me 30 seconds. Yeah, no I'm worries. Uh, Mark says hi, Nulik. Ricky Ty says hi, Nulik. Your mommy says hi, Nulik. Uh, just uh, build it says hi. So say hi, to, hi back to everybody. Um, so, uh, Solo said hi. hi um, Brickhive is here apparently. Hey, Brickhive. Hi. Um, who else is here? Uh, Oliver says hi. Uh, Mr. Blue says hi. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Blue. I don't know if we've anybody said hello to you yet. Hi, uh, Mr. Blue. Um, there's Solo. Um, I think could you robot said hi. And um, that is it that I can see there. And so say hello to everybody. Yeah, hi. so Captain Zan said that's my new nightdress. It's as big. I could wear it as a nightdress. No problem. But it's a bit hot for bed clothes now at the moment. So, um, um, and there's Techno Creeper. How's it going, Techno Creeper? Hi. And. Um, so who else said what? Oh, Mark says he has the same t t same T-shirt. Confirmed that it can move a family into it. It's so big. So they do say that they're um, oversized T-shirts. But like, I mean, what's the point in having a large T-shirt that's oversized? And you're swimming in the thing, I, dude. Honestly, I'm not joking, cranky. I don't know if you've had the same experience. I actually contacted their customer support. And I said, I'm really sorry, right? I can't make head nor tail of your your, your size, your size guide. Uh, I, I, and I told him what my measurements were. And he went, yeah, just get yourself a medium. And I was like, okay, but, but can you explain to me your size guide chart? And he, did, he never got back to me. <laughs> and he, uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the youth. It's what's yeah. cool, Greg. 
Is it? Kids. It makes no sense. I don't mind chaos because I love a bit of chaos in my life. I really do, Cranky. Um, looks I think Cranky so realised that the moment she stepped into this stream. Um, but, but, uh, I, I, I don't I, try to understand the... Uh, <laughs> but, um, the, you know, suddenly, like, skinny fit t-shirts are in and then five sizes too big t-shirts are in and that's just, you know, it goes yeah. back and forth, back and forth. And... I'll just go it's around a, looking... It's like... a slip biker, hello, Hi. Nulig, and a slip biker, you did spell it right. Now, Nulig is going to say goodbye to everybody. Oh, let me show him this, thing. Oh, look, oh, yeah. Yeah. Show you this. Look. I got this shirt. I made the mistake. You, you're like this as well. Uh, uh, this is a small. <laughs> this is a small. That's a small. Let me make it bigger. Yeah, I mean, I can't get in it. I mean, it really is. Big... There we go, folks. Look. Wow, that is cool. This, I love this one because it reminds me of the of Kill Bill. Um, <laughs> the, the nice thing about it, you've got this lovely uh, bit going down the arm here. Right, yeah, and the greatest thing because he's one of my favorite Ninjago's, is he's my second favorite, in fact. Right, is he got it in there? Look, how cool awesome. is that? That's stitched on, no way, that is awesome. That is stitched on. So, I tell you what, si, when, I, when I send you over the uh, the figures, I'll pop this in there for, for no lag as well. Oh, say thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. Ah, oh, love that. I like it. You might take a bit of you might need to grow into it a little bit, but um yeah. you can wear a belt around it just like um, Captain Zan <laughs> suggested that <laughs> as well. You could just wear your, you could both wear them and just have belts around them and wear them as dresses. We'd be matching. It, it is, right? No that could get away with it because he's the youth. Yeah. The youth <laughs> So I know, uh, love your new hairstyle, by the way. Very cool, very trendy. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> bye. Hey, guys. Five says bye. He said bye. Oh. Bye, Brandon. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we, we were talking about different sizes of clothes. It's true. Now, I'm glad that skinny jeans are on the way out because I thought they were horrend horrendous things, horrible <laughs> things. Plus, if I if you ever saw me in a pair of skinny jeans, you'd be I'd look like a golf club. It would be just I'd look, no, I'd look like I'd look like an upside down cricket bat. That's what I'd look like. Would you really? Oh my god! Would would you have like would it be like like a muffin sort of effect? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you look like a bad a bad muffin from uh, from Greg's or something like that. Uh, I, I tell you what though, what I will say about Greg's is they, they it's the first time I've ever had one. Uh, it was uh, it was like a ve vegetarian sausage roll, and it was very nice. It was, very, it was actually, actually it was vegan. Sorry, I correct myself. It was, it was one yeah. step even up the lead, and it was lovely. Really enjoyed it. Really did. Um, titanium, you you look like you're ready to show us what you've constructed. Oh my god, look at that! It's, it's like a giant gnat. Let's have a look at that. That's yeah, the catapult. Oh, it sure is. Yeah. And then look. half a tent. Uh, what, what, what is that? Is that some sort of tent? Yeah, it's half a tent. <laughs> it's half a tent. So you've got half a tent, uh, something that resembles uh, some sort of sand-dwelling butterfly, uh, and you've got a fantastic-looking speeder. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. The, nice that's not a speeder. Oh, the, 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 what's the thing called? The, the, other, the kind of firing thing? What's it called? Not that's that a cat thing. It has a proper no, name though, and I can't remember what it like is. Some sort. Of, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. Like a, a butterfly-looking <laughs> catapult. <Is it>, yeah, <laughs> when well, I saw it first, I, I was going to guess, some and sort then I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does look like some kind of like um, steampunk moth or something. Yes, yes. I love a bit of steampunk. It's good. Wait, wait, what would you rate the set, Titanium? I would probably rate it uh, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. That's I, quite cool. I would like it if this. I would like it more if this was complete. Yeah. It, it's still very good value. Yeah. Mando oh, here. show us the figure. I think you've got a good camera on your one, by the way. This is just my laptop camera. Okay. That's good. I like it. You've obviously got a good laptop. Um, I do like his best car shoulder armor. I think that looks very cool. Yeah. It was nice that they included arm printing. Good to see you, Woodshop Teacher. The child the tool here. He does look good. I like the child. He's got some ear rolls on him, though, hasn't he? And finally, Tuscan Raider. Tuscan Raider. Here we go. Oh, 
Nice to get another one. Is it me? Uh, now I'm looking at this Tusker made. Is it me? Does he look like he's doing an impression of Bugs Bunny? <laughs> look like Bugs Bunny teeth. Just saying. Very cool, mate. I'm, I'm liking it. I really am. Good stuff. Look at that. It's nice to have someone on here um, uh, building a little bit of Star Wars. Uh, we'll have someone uh, a little bit later building some Star Wars, folks. Potentially. Anyway, I've got to scroll up there to see. To, I, I saw her come in as I was uh, as I was just grabbing a coffee. I just grabbed a coffee, folks. Uh, did you see how I did that? It was very slick, wasn't it? Uh, very. Uh, you, you kind of learn these little things uh, the more you stream. <laughs> I like Sai the, si the other night. He, he had like ants in his pants. He just couldn't get up and walking around in circles. So, so no, like, it's, it's, this chair, it's it's like a like a um, like a stool you have at your islands, like your breakfast bar or whatever. So it's up yeah. a little bit. Like we call them bar stools. So sometimes <laughs> I might get a cramp or a dead leg, so I have to go off and walk around a little bit and. Um, yeah, so that's so instead of me seeing me going ah, ah on camera, I do it off yeah. camera. Oh no, I think I think genuinely speaking, I think people would like to see you shrieking pain on camera, don't you, folks? <laughs> in the <laughs> chat, the uh, a pain. yeah, exactly. They like to see people suffer. <laughs> they do, they do. It's, it's great for ratings. Just saying. Uh, so, uh, what have we got going on there? Uh, love them stand people figs. They are good. Actually, do we, do we call them stand people anymore? Do we call them Tuscan warriors? What's the deal with them, Titanium? I think you can call them either. Okay. Awesome. Uh, and they and they, I, I love that what they did in the Mandalorian uh, with a little where they had the Mandalorian kind of speaking to him in sign language. Um, mm. You know, that's cool. You know, uh, I love you lot out there. That's for sure. Now, um, where was I going to do next? We're on the where we at? Star Wars. Oh, look, got look, no. There's a flex. There's a flex. Look at this. This is nice. Do you know what? No, I, I didn't get this. I didn't. Um, you didn't actually... get. It. No, but and I don't know if she is here or not. Um, I didn't see her come in if she did. Um, but this is from the wonderful Nicole, who is um, uh, head moderator on my um, on my Twitch channel and a good friend and supporter. And very very kind of her to send me this because she had a couple. She got I think she got two or three in the end. Um, wow. So I just love this. I actually I I have at one point owned all of the series of these but i sold the other ones and then uh, you know this is like this is the fourth one um i actually i really love this once so i couldn't i couldn't resist uh couldn't resist getting it it's just that the thing that sold it for me was that little that speeder right there it's two pieces or three sorry three pieces to yeah. that speeder and i just ah i just loved it so anyway thank you very much nicole sent that over to me because i missed my chance to get it um on the topic of star wars it's about the only star wars set i own Really? Okay. Well, I tell you what. Um, <laughs> <Jay>. <laughs> oh, I love that. Every stream, he gets his flex tape out. Honestly, even it, I was you, Titanium. You was in the stream the other day with uh, Brick Hive, and he cut it out. And Brick Hive went, "Oh, there we go. Is, is the flex tape out again?" Like this, and I was like, "Oh, there's a man being worn down by years of flex taping." <laughs> love it. Keep it up, Titanium. Keep it up. And great to see you in the chat as well, Brick Hive. Hope you're having a good week, my friend. I really, really do. Uh, as, of course, do I wish you all a lovely week, uh, too. So, I think in a minute, we'll, I'll show off some photos that peeps have been sending in. Loads of you have been sending me pictures, folks. I really do appreciate it. I really do. Um, should we, what would you like to do? Would you like to look at some mocks? Would you like to look at some news? Because this week in the news, we've had um, we've had some Adidas trainers. Out. What, what, do we, what do we think about the Adidas trainers? Cranky. Now, you're quite down with the kids. Yeah. I, I can see you. I can imagine you wearing Converse and the latest Adidas. And uh, are Converse I, uh, cool? I don't think Converse are cool anymore. I think Converse no, are must cool. Be. They, well, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Please, God, let them still be cool. Uh, re a Reebok <laughs> still cool? I don't know. A Reebok still. No, cool I think they all go in and out. <laughs> they, 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 they all go in and out. And apparently. Well, Lego Lego Adidas is the coolest thing right now, apparently. Do you know what? I saw I saw today. Sorry, sorry. It's did, 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 probably the only chance I'm going to get to say this. I saw today that you could get little little kiddies trainers, Adidas trainers, for twenty quid, right? Delivered. And do you know what? I thought to myself, do you know, what? I actually quite fancy getting a pair of those, even though I'm never going to wear. Obviously, I won't wear them. Uh, but, but 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 just to display, just for displaying purposes. But then I thought, oh, maybe that's a bit creepy. I don't know. What do you reckon? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's probably the strangest question I've ever asked him. But the reason I'm asking him there is because he, he loves his trainers or sneakers. Oh. Or sneakers, I should say, not sneakers. You wouldn't put sneakers on your phone. I'd be a right old mess. Uh, Could you have yeah. someone call into your house, Greg? Say, oh, they're really cute. Are they from your firstborn? You'd be like, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're from a dog. <laughs> oh oh my what. goodness! Uh, I, mean, I will doing... agree with you that they are they are cute. Like I've seen, you know, you can get the sort of you know newborn sized, you know, Converse or Reebok or whatever they are. Um, they are adorable, but um, I just don't don't know how to answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> Should you buy some or not? Let me tell you a really funny story about. I, I used to have a. I used to own a British bulldog, right? They're the most useless creature that God ever put life into. They really are, folks. I tell you what they do, right? A bulldog, in a nutshell, right? It sleeps all day. It blows off all day. It eats. It goes out to the, the garden once or twice a day. That's it. That's the life of a bulldog, right? And, and I was very lucky, right? Mine, mine lasted to eleven years. But the, the, the absolute personality of it was wonderful. I, and I miss it dearly. Old Monty, his name was. So <clears throat> so uh, what happened was once he, he, he caught his, clue, uh, his dew claw uh, and, uh, and he, he, he was fine with it, absolutely fine with it. But the vet said, do yourself a favour, just wrap it up. And, uh, and then after that, uh, you know, just to protect it so it doesn't get infectious or anything like that. So, and after that, I, I, so I bandaged him up and he's walking very mildly. He's had this for like two days, folks fumbling around, didn't have a care in the world. As soon as I put this um, uh, kind of bandage around his leg, he started limping. Now, oh, you've yeah. never seen a bulldog limp before. It's the funniest thing. I, I recorded it loads because it was just, it was just, it was just, I just couldn't stop laughing at him in all honesty. Um, but anyway, I'll, uh, maybe I'll dig a video out and make a short out of it or something like that. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll try to dig out the Badger one as well. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, we were talking about. So I was going to say something, and then I don't on, know right. where did we, where were we I, I, I don't mean to interject anymore, but it's very seldom I get to tell you a story about a British bulldog who, who had a funny limp. But anyway, onwards and upwards. I over to you. No, I was just going to say that. Um, what what is cool is definitely uh, Converse is still cool. Doc Martens are still cool. Um, Doc Martens are always cool. Yeah, they're always cool. I mean, and they've even come back now. A lot of um, K-pop um, people are wearing uh, Doc Martens. So, yeah, you, K Converse are just continuously cool. I mean, a lot of skaters wear Converse, um, and they're comfortable yeah. and everything else. But, uh, my favorite, obviously, are Nike Air Jordans, and that's what I wear. But I, uh, I am wearing... I said I wasn't going to. I was going to keep them as a collector's item. I am wearing my Lego Adidas trainers. No! Oh, yeah. I have a yeah, I have a yellow pair, and I wear them. They're uh, they're so I love them. I've got they're the good. black pair, and I swear they're so comfortable, they're like really comfortable. Um, it's I because I'm not an, an Adidas fan or Adidas or whatever way you say it around the world. Yeah, but um, I, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of them. But like obviously Lego now have teamed up, and it's you know it's it's I'm not going to get an Adidas T-shirt or anything like that because I don't really like sports T-shirts, but um. Yeah, these trainers are really <laughs> comfortable. I'm shocked. I don't. I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm not calling anybody out here. I just don't know what. Like, I'm. I'm not in touch with what's cool with the kids nowadays. I just. I have. I have Converse and I have DMs and I have Lego shoes. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if that makes me really cool or not. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I have, I have a teenage have. daughter, so I have an invite. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, Ty's got the younglings, you see. Oh, That's the thing. They keep be right back. It's just starting to rain. Two seconds. <laughs> okay, no worries. If it's raining where Cranky is, that means it's going to be raining here in a moment. Um, is, she, is she inside, Greg? Why is she going because it's raining? Oh, she's to bring the washing. Maybe, 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 maybe England's just scored a goal. I don't know. Should, should we have a look at the scores, folks? Let's have a look at the scores on the doors. Uh, let's have a look at the scores on the doors. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, it's, oh. It's, it's nil nil at the moment, folks. Still nil nil. Uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. I have my go. Sky Go app open um, on the computer as well in a small window. Oh, good man. I haven't got. Um, I, I I haven't got. Uh, I got. I got Virgin, uh, and I just haven't got it connected up to any of my machines. Um, I tell you what, I did watch a little bit today, though. Um, a little bit of football, the build up. Uh, but what I did watch, I probably watched the first half an hour 
of um of loki that was nice that was oh. good yeah very good still still liking that cranky have you started watching loki by any chance no i haven't but i've heard good things about it so far but I don't know. Well, not universally good things, but probably mostly good things. But some people who are just a bit like, not sure where it's going. Yeah, that's an interesting one, isn't it? We're not sure yet. There's a big twist. There's got to be a big twist in it. Yeah, it will come, folks. It will come. It really will. Um, are we are they talking to football? Because obviously, um, a bit, you know, uh, cranky with your, with your heritage. Um, where, 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 how do you think the score is going to go tonight? Because at the moment, you know, it's nil nil. Uh, we're, we're a third of the way through the game. Uh, yeah, some people might kick kick a ball, and it might end up at one end of the pitch, or it might end up at the other end of the pitch. And uh, <laughs> yep, some people will be happy, and some people won't be happy. <laughs> <laughs> that is proper on the right? commentary there from Cranky Bricks, folks. It really is. I don't know anything about football. I don't care. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, fair enough then. If you if you don't, that's fair enough then. Are, are you into any sort of sport, Cranky? Because I've never really asked you this. No, no. Um, Titanium. Are you, are you into any sports at all? Are you American football, anything like that? No. Nope. What about jujitsu? Surely jujitsu must come on your radar. No. What Lego speed building? Does that count? Yeah, that counts. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's there we go. That's he's an Olympic <laughs> champion at that. Uh, he really is. He's, he's like he's like I don't know. He's, he's like the hundred meter sprinter of uh, the Lego YouTube community. What about you, Sai? What sports are you into? Sports. Um, well, the thing is, I, I when I was younger, I used to watch team sports all the time. As in, I used to watch football. I used to. Now, I'm not. I won't. Say, I'll say the. I'll say the the team name. Okay, and everyone would go. I used to be a Man U supporter when I was growing up. And no way. It was. Um, because it, mainly because most of the my mother's family were Man U supporters. So, so I was a United supporter, and uh, growing up, I had like jerseys and everything else. But then. I just went to music and I just stopped. Well, also, I say this all the time. There's too much falling around in, in football lately. Even you yeah. saw today as well. Nobody touched some of these people and they're falling around crying. But when you look at like people like who play rugby, I mean, they get battered and they just walk it off. And they don't get paid half as much money as the football players do. And it just kind of de um, it kind of just made me think about it a bit more. And I was like, yeah. So I just literally um, watch... Um, international matches so if ireland are playing yeah. or if it's a thing like the euros or the world cup definitely hit that up and um, and the rugby i watch the rugby but i'm not as, the weird thing is anytime there's like a tv quiz on right mm -hmm. i always know the sports question all the time i shock myself but it, i don't know why <laughs> that's that's very cool oh, it's good it's good mate. it's a skill, yeah. it's a skill. it really is I, I can name more players from the nine, World Cup 1990 England team than I can from the World Cup 1990 Ireland team. Like, there was um, Steve Bull, Terry Butcher, all these people no one talk about anymore. Terry Butcher. Yeah. Love it. That's it. You know, the England. Uh, get the right side. I'm looking at myself in there, folks. That's why I get the wrong side. I forget what side my heart's on. Uh, Nicoletta, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Um, have a lovely weekend. Um, and, yeah. Um, be good and uh, build some awesome sets. Nicoletta, you, you, you should send me some pictures as well. Now, talking of pictures, I think it's time we uh, we showed off. Oh, ice hockey. I've got to be honest, I love a bit of ice hockey. That is a fun sport. Uh, here's a fun little fact for you folks. Uh, the Red Devils. I think that's what they're called, the Red Devils in um, New Jersey. My family uh, own a, um, a, a laundrette, uh, believe it or not, uh, like steam cleaners, that sort of thing. And uh, and they they do it for the Red Devils. Just for, just for that little fact uh, of the family there. That's a bit of a weird one. I went to a game once there as well. It's fantastic. It's phenomenal. I actually met a guy. Here's another story from that story. Uh, I met a guy. Uh, it was an Englishman, and he said he, he said uh, I, I was just in the queue, and it was this Mancunian next to me. I went, "All oh, right, mate, you from England?" He went, "Yeah, I'm from Manchester." Uh, and he, and then we, we were chatting as we walked in. And funny enough, we ended up only being like a couple of rows away from each other. And he said, it's the weirdest thing. He said, when when people score over here, they don't, they cheer, they clap and stuff like that, but they don't kind of go crazy and hug and stuff like that. So I said to him, I said, all right, mate, well, look, if, we, if they score, right, we'll do that. We'll, we'll show them how the Brits do it. And then, and then they, they scored and we, and we went crazy. 
And uh, and I nearly got tasered for it as well because the police thought I was doing doing something a bit on the crazy side. But anyway, one thing led to another, and it all, it all settled down. And everyone knew what was going on, but we kind of uh, we kind of how can I put it? We expressed ourselves probably a bit too much that night. <laughs> uh, not helped by the case of having uh, too much Red Bull as well. But there we yeah. go. Um, but I managed to get the puck. I, I got the puck from the game, which was lovely. Uh, That's which was nice. So yeah, that was another random story. Sorry, folks. Yeah. Uh, so I've, anyway. got, I've got a, a random story too. Tell us a random story. I love random so, stories. So I, I'm not into sports, but my dad, he's a baseball fan and he's a fan of the Chicago Cubs. Because uh, if you live in Chicago, you're a fan of the Chicago Cubs or else. Yeah. Unless you're a fan of the Red Sox, but either way, so the, the games are going and it's funny because every time he watches the Chicago Cubs game, they lose. <laughs> enough of the time that it's noticeable yeah it's just don't tell the rest of them they're supporters like deliberately not watch them now <laughs> like... no he still watches them it's just they lose sometimes <laughs> they lose sometimes it's a bit like being a west ham fan they, they lose sometimes we just had an amazing season we really have um now cranky i've got to ask you is it raining hard where you are yeah, so it just um, like I have the um, I had the door open in, in front of me to get a bit of airflow, and uh, and then it just started chucking it down with rain. So I so I had to go and hurriedly close it before it rained on my laptop. Uh, we thought you had oh, to bring in the washing. Yeah. yeah, we thought you did the washing or something like that. <laughs> uh, no, uh, apparently, oh, no, no, maybe not. I thought there might have been the goal scored then. No. So is it looking like England might have scored a goal? No, they didn't. On you, uh, apparently, we, uh, uh, you need you all need to watch football on Univision. Goal! Oh, maybe that wasn't the England goal or something like that. I don't know. I saw a goal earlier on, though, folks. It was um, it was on the BBC website. Do check it out. It's the strangest goal. Uh, defenders running back, right? Passes to the keeper. The complete the keeper completely missed kicking it. And then it was fine though, because he was he was pretty far out from goal. He was like a few feet away, and he went to kick it again, and he accidentally kicked it into his own goal. I mean, it was is the most pitiful thing I'd seen all day. It really was. I felt sorry for him. Like it's one of those things that you just want the ground to eat you up. Uh, it really would be. Oh, I missed someone there. Uh, Fooling with bricks is still nil nil. Let us know, folks. If the scores come in, let us know, and we'll update. It'll, it'll be like um, it'll be like watching the BBC from the nineteen seventies. We'll update the. Uh, we'll hold up a card or something. Uh, and do, uh, maybe right we do cranky at the end of it can give us the score draws uh, from today's football results in in a beautiful scottish accent or something like that can you imagine that i don't think she, she's not looking i, I can't like, i can't yeah. imagine that no, no i can't I, okay <laughs> okay we'll, we'll kill that one uh bad idea so that was that was size idea anyway that was and uh, <laughs> uh brings me justin's in the house howdy to you as well my friend hope you're having a great day i really do um, but yeah, folks, in, in the Scots, we, we're getting into half time there. The Scots are holding the Brits, uh, or rather, I should say, the Scots are holding the English. <laughs> Don't get that one mixed up. Um, I mean, half the planet doesn't even know the difference between the English and the Brits anyway. Uh, no. but anyway, um, so anyway, moving on, I'll tell you what we're gonna do now. We're gonna look at some photos because we, we, we're on the hour, we're on the hour, folks. So, what are you beautiful we're people? About Lego. Yeah, it's about Lego. We're gonna go back to Lego. Do you, do you want to talk about any more randomness? Uh, I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to rein it in. You, you you lot, it's terrible, folks. I try and keep it Lego, but cranky titanium and sorry, they, 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 yeah. it, it, it's like they come on here and talk about anything but Lego. Uh, they really do. <laughs> they, they really do. I, I'm only joking, cranky. She's wonderful. Look at her, folks. She she, she, she oozes Lego finesse. She does. She really does. Um, anyway, let's uh, anyway. <laughs> We were going to look at some pictures that people have been to, haven't we? <laughs> she gets all shy. I love it when Craigie gets shy. It's cute. Um, okay, so we've got some blimeys. Uh, someone's been taking their figures apart. They have been. And um, I'm I'm, uh, I'm just going to play something. Very Well, I'm going to show you some pictures, and then what I'm going to do is just play a video that someone sent me, which I've got to play first, folks, just in case it ends up being a bit rude. I'm sure it won't be, but you never know. Um, so... <laughs> Let's uh, let's see because <laughs> sometimes it really does happen, folks. People send me all sorts of things. Um, anyway, there's um, this is from uh, Doc Samson, who's really going to town taking his figures apart. Blimey, what, what are you doing with that, Doc? Are you, are you cleaning it? Uh, 
There we go. There's the blue one. Uh, this is kind of half of what uh, Cranky likes is her favourite one. Uh, she likes that, but without the hairpiece, which is fair enough. Um, it's um, it's a very director Cranic uh, one. Um, I, I didn't actually know minifigures look like that when they've been taken apart, especially the hips. It's, uh, yeah, it's. Uh... I don't, I don't, I've never seen minifigures like it. Um, anyway, I'll show you one more. This is the orange one. Doc, I, Doc, I need to know, why did you take them apart like that? Are you working on a mock or something like that? Do tell. Do tell. And anybody, you got any pictures out there? Please do, because I'll, I'll, sh I'll show another lot. You probably, you probably watch the scene. Uh, yeah, I'll Say hi to London. Oh, here we go. This is um, this is Doc Samson, uh, aka Khan, aka Sam and Kelson. <laughs> that was those. And this is Doc Samson's mum. Here we go, folks. Check this out. Look at that. How cool is that? Thank you, Doc. And, th and thank you, Doc's mum as well. What a beautiful lady. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Next up, then, uh, we've got the brick bods as well. Show some of these off. The brick bods. Oh, my blimey brick bods. These look good. Um, she goes super excited. Super. I like people being super excited because it makes yeah. me excited as well. Um, are you right there, Si? Yeah, I'm right. Oh, okay. I, I, I could hear some murmurings going on or something like that. I thought, oh, should I be aware of something? Um, uh, Brickbot says, super excited about my new table. This is for my live streaming room, so I don't have to sit up in the sweltering loft anymore. I'll tell you what, folks, I feel anyone who, who's got a bedroom in a loft at the moment, uh, like Chris from Brick in it. I mean, blood, it, must, it, it must be literally like an oven in the loft at the moment. But anyway, here we go. Brickbot, so these from Ikea. I like them. <clears throat> I'd almost wish I bought that myself because I bought some stuff from Ikea. Uh, I can't be honest, though. That is really nice. I bought the Alex table. Is anyone's wondering? I've got the Alex table. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing that today as well. It's almost like I'm cleaning the window or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, it's, it's weird. It's, it's like a thing. I don't know. Honestly, I just genuinely don't know why I do that. Anyway, I just do. It's a, it's a mannerism. Oh, I did it again. I didn't even realise. There we go. I can't stop myself. Uh, so this is from Mike Smith. Mike Smith, was there a Radio 1 DJ called Mike Smith, Cranky? Why are you asking me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because you always the taste like, I feel like the questions you ask me are almost diametrically opposed to the things I know about. Like you ask me about performers, <laughs> you ask me about really DJs, you ask me about football. <laughs> Oh, cranky. I love you, honestly. It's like I mean, I don't mean it, honestly, folks. I really don't. Uh, this is this is from Mike Smith, a.k.a. Um, uh, Lego uh, R2SW. You've got different names. It confuses me when people have got different names in different areas. But here we go. Anyway, this is, um, this is uh, what's his face? Uh, General Grievous' uh, uh, Starfighter. There we go. Love that. Sai's got that. He's built that. He yep. built it. Over I've the course of... Um, 22 live streams he did and uh, <laughs> and then let's show another one i've got some more to show a little bit later folks um but i'm going to show you this one this is from the wonderful echo bricks um and th this is this is beautiful and do you know what i'm going to be talking about this uh oh, gotta show the fixtures quick because they, they might potentially disappear but there we go the bouquet the bouquet of flowers and do you know what if i had a bouquet of flowers right now made of lego Probably give them to Cranky because she's lovely. Okay, because I reckon she'd appreciate them. And I'll tell you what about them, folks, that I love is the the, the kind of very unorganic uh, pieces that have been used to make something very organic. And um, that might be a line from this month's Blops magazine uh, that uh, that I power phrased there. But anyway, thank you for sending me in your pictures. Please do continue to send me those pictures, and uh, I'll show you some more later. I've got some more on there, folks, and we'll show you some more. A little bit later anyway i'll do that once more for this segment <laughs> uh, and then that's that so thank you for that um so where should we go now we've got brick we've got brick beat out there hello brick beat evening is it half time now folks is it half time brick beats in the house uh he's had a good week um cranky i don't know if you if you know about brick beat or titanium or si sorry i'm pretty sure you are um because um well you must do you know everything that goes on site 
And uh, this week, uh, uh, Brickbeat actually made it to 2,000 followers on it on Instagram, which is amazing, isn't it? Amazing. It's very, very cool. It really is. Now, uh, something that is very, very cool as well is you, Cranky. And uh, so we're going to go back to trainers again because I'm not letting you off the hook just yet, Cranky. Uh, I want to talk about um, this, these new Adidas trainers then. And what do we think about them? Do we like them? Do you lovely lot out there like them as well? Um, what do you think about them? Are they a bit blocky? Are they a bit – I don't know. I'm going to start well, with you, Cranky. So – the set, the set is not for me, and I'm probably not going to buy it. Um, but I like the, I like that a shoelace is now an official Lego element. Definitely. <laughs> Feel like somebody much cleverer than me. Am I making, am I causing an echo somewhere? I don't, I don't think so. There's a minor echo. Yeah. Oh, I'm hearing it, but I don't know if it's just me. Sorry. Um, anyway, um, uh, but yeah, like the, the set itself, kind of. It's not for me, but I totally understand where Lego's going with it. And I don't know. I don't know if it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> um, I don't know like if it's going to go as well as they sort of hope. But there's a whole, like, like, you know, trainer collecting, like, scene. It's a thing. There is. There is. There is. And, and all those I, I, into Lego. I, I want to know who Sai likes him. But I'm going to let so someone, someone is just... Uh, how can I put it? Materialized. There I am again with that hand again, folks. Materialized uh, in the green room. Now, if she gives me the hands up, I'll know that she's ready to pop on in. And you know what? Excellent she is. Uh, of course, you see, she, this, this person was born ready. She was, folks. She really was. Uh, <laughs> this is a strange one, this one. This person, right? I'm not joking, folks. Uh, I was chatting with her literally just before I went to bed last night. As soon as I woke up this morning, right? And I don't think this person actually ever sleeps. I think she's a vampire, in all honesty, right? Because I woke up this morning, and I'm up early, folks, believe me, and she was still up. And I was like, hold on a minute, you're on the other side of the planet. How come you're still up? Uh, give you a run for your money, Si. But anyway, she's wonderful, this person. You will find her on Tricky Bricks' channel most of the time. She hasn't really got an official channel. But I tell you what, folks, she knows her stuff. She really does. And also as well, she's good friends with Cranky, so they're probably going to team up on me now and pick on me. But anyway, I don't mind. I'll take it as it comes. It is, of course, the lovely Holly. Hello, Holly. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, hi, hi. How you doing? I've, I've got nothing on Cranky as far as being a vampire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, so you you thought that she was going to come and team up with me against you, Greg, but no, it's straight in, straight in with the revealing my complete degenerate sleeping habits. Thanks. <laughs> I know, but the thing is, I, I don't sleep particularly great. I really don't. I, honestly, I'm like, um, I, the, the, the thing is with me is, um, and this is no big deal, folks. I've had it all my life. I didn't even know what it was until someone pointed it out. Uh, but I've got tinnitus in my right ear. I, I've got it constantly, all the time. I don't really do myself any favors drinking coffee, believe it or not. Um, but that's uh, the what can I say? Human, I'm a human. Um, but the thing is, right? Um, so the tinnitus keeps me up uh, quite often, and uh, so I don't. I sleep. I, I'm a very patchy sleeper. But uh, honestly, Holly, you, know, you give me a bum. You're like you're you're you'll outdo me or anything like that. I don't know how you keep looking so good. Oh uh, well, thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I mean, look at the folks. It's like uh, 40, <laughs> that's forty-five minutes of sleep in five days, and she looks like that still. Amazing. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Oh my god! Um, no. blushing now. <laughs> oh, no, you, you, Holly, it's lovely to have you here. It really is. And um, we we we've got someone else that's just. There must be a thing. Is it? Have they just opened up uh, the, the the internet or something? Over, it's over lunch here. break. You're me. Oh, it must be as well. So we, we've got someone new that's just joined us as well in the green room. This is exciting. Uh, and again, it kind of, it, I think this is going to be the first stream I've ever done where we've got uh, free, free men. Uh, and I loosely put myself in that category, folks. I really do. Uh, and we've got, we've got free ladies as well. Um, so let's bring her on, folks. We've got, we've got Cranky Bricks. Uh, we've got Holly. And now we've got the infamous, notorious, and she's all shiny and new. She really is. She is Lego Danny Bob. Hello, Lego Danny Bob. Hello, everyone. Thank hey. you so much for having me on today. Oh, it's good to have you here. It's good to have you here. Uh, 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 Lego Danny Bob, great to have you here. You, you, you sound a little bit quiet, but you, you sound very nice nonetheless. Is this a little bit better? Oh, that's better. Yo, thank okay. you. Yep. 
much. Yeah. Okay, so so what? So Holly's just popped in as well. This is great because she's at lunch, uh, and this is probably her lunch break from like Wednesday or something like that. Because <laughs> uh, she's, she's on this strange time thing. She gives Loki a run for her money. She will. Uh, no spoilers there, folks. I promise you. Um, so so Holly, I'd like to introduce you to to, to Danny, to Cranky, to Titanium, to Sio Connor. Uh, and everybody, great to have you here. It really is, Holly and uh, and, and Lego Danny, Bob. Um, uh, but I must ask though, uh, Holly, tell us because you are relatively new to here. We, we, we've had you on a few mm -hmm. times, right? And then I'm going to ask you the same thing, uh, Danny Bob. Uh, <laughs> can I call you Danny or Danny Bob? What, what, what's the deal? Danny's fine. Yeah, Danny Bob is more of the the gamer tag, the the internet name. But you could call me Danny. Okay, cool. So Holly, t tell us just a little bit. Give us a, a big spill about you and where we normally find you because i know you haven't got you you kind of your own youtube thing but you 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 know so much and <laughs> it's vast that your knowledge <laughs> of course where would we find you when we want to see you tell us a little bit about uh, that. yeah i'm actually kind of camera shy i know you guys probably don't believe that but uh i i really do enjoy our hangout sessions and i love talking lego but otherwise i'm hard pressed to get in front of a camera so <laughs> i don't do my own streaming i don't have streaming channels plus i don't really have a whole lot of additional time as you know i'm already struggling for sleep so just can't can't put that on my plate i know better uh but yeah i do host uh pretty regularly at least once a week over on tricky bricks i co-host co on sundays so we have a hangout session with flynn and richard moto's usually there uh cara also minifig chick is there with us and then we usually have special guests that pop on with us every week. So that's typically where you can find me. Um, Tricky Breaks on Sundays. Kind of have to check check your local listings because I know the time <laughs> the place. The um, otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty it's much six just on. UK time, by the way, for anybody. Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, otherwise, pretty much just like on Instagram and Facebook and the usual social circles. Wow. I like it. I like it. Honestly, folks, she, 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 she even down in the description below, I've put down Tricky Bricks because that, that is where you'll find you. And honestly, it, it's like when, when I found you, Holly, it was like uncovering uh, a gem uh, in, in, amongst all the coal. It really was. I was like, who's this person? Like, this, it, like you, you, you stuck out. And uh, I, I love you to bits, Holly. I really do. Um, so anyway, let's, let's, let's move along the panel just a little bit uh, to somebody who was um, who's who's dwelling in the uh, in the ladies stream over the weekend so let, let go danny bob or danny um uh, random story danny was one of my favorite ever west ham players but anyway we'll go there for uh, that's a football team or soccer as the as the americans like to call it um so yeah D D danny tell us a little bit about you and all this awesome star wars stuff that you're into yeah so i started my youtube channel pretty recently after i uh probably spent a little bit more than the average Lego user. And I felt that we should probably justify this in some way, shape or form. And so I've always wanted to do YouTube and I felt that uh, this was the right time. So I've been doing my YouTube channel for a couple of months now, having a great time doing it. And uh, my plan is to just see how many Star Wars sets that I can purchase and see how great my content can become over time. Because I want to make really good stuff with, you know, editing and being able to video things, not just reviews, but actually make kind of funny, entertaining uh, content as well. So I try to post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I usually get something up over the weekend as well. And I also have an Instagram account where I can post a little bit more behind the scenes, kind of quick things that I'm doing. Like as I was building the Sith art mosaic, I was kind of posting that in the background a little bit. So yeah, I like to uh, make fun content about Star Wars Lego, but I'm pretty much a Star Wars nerd, honestly. So um, I probably know more than like the average, the person, like average person, I would say at this point. <laughs> I think they probably know more than me. Um, so, so, so here's the thing then, Holly, um are you into star wars is it your other half that's more into star wars i mean my other half is like the one that i would say is really into it i like star wars by proximity i know a lot about star wars but it's really the other the that's his thing like, like it's the lego to me is the star wars to him oh wow yeah. i'm liking it but do, do you ever kind of go out there and kind of meet because the halfway point the, the marriage made in heaven, should we say, 
is that you build a Star Wars set with him or something like that. I mean, you must be digging that. I tried. I did. I tried back like in the early days when we were first started started dating. And I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to date myself too much, but it was relatively early in the Star Lego Star Wars theme. Yeah. Um, and I did try, like I got him a couple of the Lego Star Wars sets and tried to get him to build them with me, and he just didn't bite. It's just not it's just really? not his thing. He's not a builder, he's not interested. He no. likes them as display pieces, but he has no interest in building them. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? That's so odd. Um, I've never, I've never had people approach me. Just, can you? They, they buy sets, and they say, "Can you just build it for me?" I'm like, really? Um, yeah, kind of, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't ask me to build them, but like, it's kind of funny because anytime there's a big, um, like UCS Star Wars UCS drop or something, I know it's in the bag because he'll go buy it for me. Like it's yeah. a given that he that that's when he will actually pick up for me. But he has no. I mean, there's so many of them sitting over there unopened though, because he's just. Uh, we just don't really have a whole lot of display space for them. And I'd kind of have to rotate them out. And right now I have a couple of favorites that are out on display mm -hmm. that I don't want to pull down. Like slave one is one of my favorites. The, oh. um, the Ewok village, uh, I have a really sweet story about the, the ad at the motorized ad at was something he got me for val for our first Valentine's day. Oh my God. And, yeah. I knew then he was a keeper. <laughs> yeah. Good shot. My man. Yeah. I tell you, if I ever meet your husband, I'll give him a handshake for that one. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Holy one. Fantastic. So, 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 I, I've never actually seen a real one of those mechanical ones. Have you, Sai? Have you ever seen the? Because I've got a theory, folks. Eight hundred dollars for an AT AT. They reckon it's going to come out this year. I'm saying, think to myself, well, it's either made of ten million parts or yeah. it's motorized. Is that how much uh, it's going to cost? Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. Yeah. I mean, I, I've got one just above my head here. Uh, that there, in case anyone's wondering, look at the top of my finger. Right, that there is is what two thousand five hundred pieces of Lego looks like when you create an ATAT -AT custom. Yeah, uh, it's, it's probably the best thing I've ever done, actually. In all honesty, it's that hand. I'm doing it with the left hand now. It's weird, isn't it? Um, I can't stop myself, so I help. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's that. An ATAT. -AT. I know it's doing this. It's like wax on, wax off. Sorry, folks. It's obviously a thing I've just come across. Um, but yeah, an ATAT, -AT, love it. What did you think in the mechanical one? No, I said the mechanical one, the one that actually just moves along. Was it fun? The motorized one? It, yeah, no, like, no, sorry, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, it knocked my socks off. I married the guy, so it was obviously pretty pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, he could, he could have put the engagement ring on top of it or something like that. It took, it took a few more years, but <laughs> we got there. Oh, you made him work for it, did you? you did, give did. It yeah. Oh, I, did I? Yeah. Uh, I have commitment issues. That's why I don't have a streaming channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, we'll talk about that one later. Uh, okay, crank, cranky. So you, you, and uh, I'm done. My cranky. I'm not going to ask you something random about Star Wars. I promise. Um, <laughs> You're going to be like pop quiz. What happened at minute forty-seven of episode three? And I'll be like, yeah, yeah Obi Wan can only be a new hope. Uh, <laughs> uh, scene five. Uh, what's um, so, so, so so cranky? Right? You appreciate mosaic art, mosaic, don't you? Yeah, the new Lego art sets or yeah, the just yeah, in yeah, general? Yeah. No, it's not a leading question. I, oh, I, I, I can feel your nerves when I ever ask you a question now. I promise <laughs> you I'm not. Uh, I'll come easy on the next time, so I will, I promise. Um, uh, but no, I know you're into your mosaic art, but but someone recently, uh, uh, Q Danny, um, has, uh, has actually built the awesome trio of Darth Vader mosaic art. Yes, and I Hotel. think that the 7,000 studs may have given me some nerve damage because my thumb is still sore <laughs> from pushing them in, but it is behind me. Are you able to see it or should I bring it forward? Uh, well, no, if you can move, can you, can you use the false, uh, Danny, use the false. Okay, yeah, hang on just a second. Just uh, that means you green get screen it. this really quick. Can you get me on yeah. the green screen? Go for it. All right. Oh, All right. Really and cool, Cut and... <laughs> No, you were supposed to cut to somebody else, and then she oh, was. Sorry. Then you cut back, and she, it's just magically there. Oh, there she is. Okay, well, Greg didn't quite. Never I'm mind. Not that quick. We'll all pretend that that's. We'll pretend that. It was. That's what happened, guys. Suspension we'll pretend, of belief. I'll, I'll <laughs> cut in post production. If it's good enough for George Lucas, it's good enough for me. Uh, here we go. We'll edit it out later. Yeah, yeah. we'll fix it, it in post. Massive. It's huge. It's Benny. so cool. Yeah. It's, it's phenomenal. It really is. It's it's. I love it. Do you know what? I love it so much. I think I'm actually going to go and buy it. Are you? Like it. 
Yeah. Why well, yeah. are you by that? I'm inspired, Danny. I really am. And I'm, I mean, between you, Cranky and Holly, quite frankly, I'm easily led as well. Uh, but, we're, but again, um, that's a, a story of my life. It's, uh, I, I, I genuinely, I've always fancied getting them. I've got them, I've got the um, Marilyn Monroe one. But seeing it like that, it's like, wow. And I know Solo Brick Builder, who's, um, who loves his Star Wars as well. He lo- he, he's got the, um, the Darth Maul one. But seeing all three of them together looks amazing. But I, may I ask, are you doing a review on this or is the review coming out for it? Yeah, I actually just posted one um, yesterday. And uh, one thing that I didn't mention, though, is like, be careful when you put the third set together, because when it gets that long, it starts to get really flimsy. And if you don't Mm. have the frame on the ends, then it is a little bit of a challenge. I actually had to move it to the floor to get that third section on. And then when I put the framing on it, it it, it becomes a lot, uh, a lot stronger. But it was a bit of a challenge. Ah, okay, cool. Now, Cranky, what's the biggest set? Uh, that you've ever built because you've built I'm sure you must have built some big stonkers in your time um is mm, probably Ninjago City um I don't remember all the piece counts off the top of my head for all of them I actually so you might be surprised (laughs) I could build that um the the Darth Vader combined um set because I do actually have three of that uh set but I bought it for parts, so I haven't yeah. built the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the were, I was crazy yeah. for doing that. Yeah. But they were, well, they, they were like half price or 40% off or something on Amazon. Yeah. And so I just bagged three um, because I've been using the, um, the bases. I can show you in a bit um, an, uh, what I've been building with it, but it's definitely not Star Wars related. <laughs> is it not? Well, I tell you, I'd, I'd love to see it because it's, it, it, it's cranky. Whatever you build is going to be awesome. It really is um i've got someone else who's just materialized in the uh, in the green room uh oh no i've changed it from a hand to a finger now folks um it's uh, but i'm gonna wait for him to be ready i don't know if he is ready uh i i, I don't know if that means yes or no is that give me a thumbs up yes a thumbs up is, is universal language for yes i'm ready uh thank goodness for that i don't know what this means that i don't know what that means that means like, oh my god he's gonna run me over um but it's uh let's bring me so where are we at the moment? We are in we are in London. We are in Ireland. We're on the east coast of America. Um, west coast, and we're on west coast America as well. Oh, I was getting there, Holly. I was just I'm just thinking back on our conversations this evening or this morning. I don't I don't know when I do have conversations with you. It just it just blurs into the one day. Anyway, let's 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 pop over to America, folks. Let's go to sunny California, shall we? Uh, where this guy is anything but shy. Uh, and I need to come up with a new way of bringing him in. I really do. I keep saying that all the time. He's bringing me in, shall we? It's his lunch time as well, Holly. Uh, you, you, you Americans love your lunch breaks, don't you? Uh, let's bring him in, shall we? It is <laughs> shy time. Is my time. <laughs> Hello, shy. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, shy. Good. Good. Lunch break time. See. Now, yep. what, what I want, what I want to say is, right, Holly and shy thank you so much for spending your lunch break with me um, um and do you know what uh being an englishman uh in case anyone's not noticed like i keep doing it again um i uh whenever i have lunch i have a lunch box uh do you guys actually have a lunch box when you're uh, when you're having lunch or do you i suppose if you guys are working from home you just pop in the kitchen grab yourself a roll or something like that and and make it yes is that, is, is that yeah? Yes. A, 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 big build up, a massive great big question and a modern yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how else to answer that question other than oh. to say yes, I have one. <laughs> I've got my work cut out tonight, folks. I mean, yeah. Uh so I help me. Uh, yeah, so I I do I, I mean I'm I've been working from I'm still working from home. So yes, I just pop into the kitchen for snacks or whatever. Well, I mean, when I get a proper lunch break and I'm not streaming, I guess I would probably go into the kitchen. <laughs> I had Cafe Corner on here uh, about a month ago, and uh, she says, yeah, uh, she was at, uh, kind of at lunch, right? And then uh, and then about two hours into it, I was saying, like, you're having a long lunch today, Cafe Corner, in the private app. And, and she says, yeah, I told them I'm networking. I'm doing a networking meeting. I was like, yes, I like your style. Yeah. I need to come yeah. up with that one. That's it. Holly and I have lots of networking meetings. Yes, over we do. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, they actually do have um, a, a Lego Coraline house at work. I found out this past week that it's actually part of the orientation tour for new hires that they they go in there. It's on one of the stages and they show it off and talk about it. So uh, I finally have that connection, like I've overlapped, officially overlapped Lego with work. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, awesome. I need to be able to do that as well. Um, I'm, 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 I just need to work it out. I mean, I, I've been trying to egg... Uh, Lego into getting me streaming from their shops, but they won't let me uh, because it's, it's, it's health and safety and stuff like that. But I'm still working on it, cranky. I really am. Uh, I'd love to be able to do that one day. Maybe I'll just. I think, well, the funny thing is, right? Is I have got around it. I've got around it because I said to them, I said, "Can I? Can I stream uh, on my YouTube channel?" Blah blah blah. And they're like, "Oh no, oh no, we, we can't do that because of this, because of that." And then I walk in there and I say to them, like, well, uh, can I do an Instagram stream? And they're like, yeah, go for it. I'm like, okay, <laughs> fair enough. I'll just do that then. So that's that. That was my that was my kind of loophole of getting around that. I phoned up their head office and everything. Um, I must work on my Danish as well. But there we go. Uh, maybe I should record some of those ones because uh, they're they're quite, they're they're quite funny. Uh, an Englishman talking to a Dane who's half deaf as well. Uh, let's make for a funny conversation. Um, but anyway, moving on swiftly. Um, Holly, what have you been building recently? Because um, because I don't know what you, you I don't see you from like day on day out and stuff like that. Because you you know you don't YouTube. I love you to YouTube, by the way. Um, what, what what are you building recently? What's what's your thing? Um, well, I put a thing together for Bricks by the Bay this weekend, uh, Bay Area here in the U.S. So we have a tricky lug. We call kind of our fan community of tricky bricks. It's called tricky lug. And we have a collab that's called Let's Go Camping. Um, so I built to go along with the 1960s Batmobile. Oh. I built a little like Airstream style Bat Camper. Oh my that's god! So cool. Oh my god! I love it. It's amazing. Yeah. I want that. <laughs> oh my god! That's so yeah. Cool. So I so I had designed it. I did a like a digital design a couple of weeks ago. And then order the parts and just kind of frantically because you know I worked last minute and it was all due today, yesterday, because so, it's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so I just submitted. I finally like finished putting it together and submitted it last night. But yeah, the little the little top comes off, so you can see down inside of it there. Oh, that's so cool. And um, and then I made like a little. Um, wait, 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 go back, go back. Greg, put her back on the big screen so we can see the interior yeah. again. Yeah. Okay, it's really dark, of course, because it's Batman. Fine. But um, I need to find some tiles. I need to open up some Batman sets and find some better tiles because that's supposed to be like a little monitor kind of command center in there. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I really need more light. It's so there so much go. black. Um, and he's got go. a little, go. little bed in the back and a toilet. Toilet. Yep. Hey. And his little kitchen, kitchen <laughs> hey, is, that cool? Cool. Go. is that Is that the bat bulk? <laughs> yeah. You forgot to put a little translucent yellow stud or a brand stud in there. I put a little turd in there. My kids said it was too much. <laughs> they shot me down. Your kids, a little wow. back, it's got a little back that, you know, hatch that opens up. So, um, yeah, I've got a little Airstream, a lot like this. It's a, it's a 16 foot little Bambi. So I modeled Maybe it. Not, after, the right color, though. <laughs> not, not, not all in black. It's not that cool, but yeah. And so then we, we all had to include a campfire in our, in our, collab so there's my little campfire and then there's batman in his little camp chair nice. roasting a hot dog of course or a sausage <laughs> nice story <laughs> i cool. love it with his oh, beer has he, he got a taco as well or just a sausage it's the it's a bun for the sausage yeah it's a bun oh. for the sausage you know. Okay. Yeah. And I'll leave it here. I won't say anything to that. Sio Connor's baiting what? me. I can tell you. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for you to say something, Greg. <laughs> I'm not going there. Um, I, I, Holly, honestly, oh, oh, I tell you, honestly, I'm put to shame. I really am, folks. On my own stream, I'm, I'm shamed. Um, interestingly, though, so I want to get into mocks. People like tech productions. They kind of uh, inspire me. I never thought I'd ever say that about tech, but he does. He inspires me. He really does, folks. He's a good guy as well. Uh, do check his channel out, folks. He's a lovely guy. Um, Danny, are you doing? Are you into mocks yet? I, I've not started any yet. Uh, I, I will be. Uh, it's a thing I'm going to be getting to in time uh, once I've got my cabin done. Um, but what about you, Danny? Are you going to be yeah. mocking? 
That's actually a great question because it's something that I am trying to get into more. And I've actually got a little team of TFOLs that we are doing a free build project where I just basically keep buying pieces and we're trying to make some Star Wars looking location. It is inspired from a certain location, but uh, not going to disclose it yet because we are going to take it to the convention in Brick Fair, Virginia. So we are building this mock for the convention and uh, it is inspiring me to want to like really be able to uh, make really good mocks of like take the picture, actually be able to build it in Lego, recreate it. Because right now, like we're free building. So it's really like, OK, what can we do with the pieces that we have and what happens when you get more pieces and you try to like build better things? So we're learning. And yes, I do want to actually like be able to build things like Holly and actually like make them look good. Oh, uh, OK. That's really cool because um, I, in, in a sense, in a sense, I'm going to be at Brick Fair of Virginia. I am. Oh. Yeah, because really? uh, a good friend of mine uh, called Brick Hive, uh, he said to me, he's, he's actually going to be doing a display there. And uh, and he asked for people to send in their sick fix to him so that they can he can take it with him. Well, here's a weird thing. I posted it to him on Tuesday. I, I swear to you, folks, honestly, right, by Thursday, he'd received it. So wow. I've got no idea how he got there so quick. Uh, I really don't. Uh, like, I have no idea. I didn't think that things could travel that fast. Uh, <laughs> at least on air mail, anyway. Um, so, yeah, so I will be there. My sick figure of me uh, will be there. So, um, All right, Greg, I'm going to find it and take a picture and tag you. I, I would love that, honestly. Oh, cool. <laughs> That would make my day. It really would, because yeah, and I, honestly, uh, do look out for Brandon, uh, aka Brick Hive. He's a top guy, and he'd love to meet you, Danny. He really would. Um, so who? So here's a couple of things going on there. Then, so we've got uh, Brick Fair, Virginia, uh, and we've got Bricks by the Bay. Now, Bricks by the Bay sounds very Californian to me. It, it is. I'll be right in saying that. Yeah, it's in the San Francisco area. San Francisco. Honestly, mm -hmm. I love all the names. Um, so t tell us a little bit about that, Holly, because conventions, we've all been starved of conventions over the last year or so. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit about Bricks by it's, the Bay. It's another, it's another virtual con. So unfortunately, not in person yet. Well, I say unfortunately, unfortunately, fortunately, because if it was in person, I probably couldn't go. And because it's virtual, you know, I, it's five dollars and I can pop in and build a mock and say hi to friends. So I'm actually really enjoying the virtual cons. It's it's mm. so much more affordable and accessible. <laughs> <laughs> so I do miss I do miss in person cons, but I also sort of feel like I'm saving myself for a big one. Like I'm still kind of got my fingers crossed that I can make it to Scarebeck this this year. Um, that would be a really great one to like if I can only go to one this year, that would be the one to go to for me. So um, I like not ready for in-person cons. So I'm yeah. I'm totally ready for Bricks by the Bay. Yeah. That one you just mentioned, the one that I will never be able to pronounce, uh, isn't that in, that's in Europe, isn't it? It's in Denmark. It's just south of Billen. Ah, okay. Well, you need to tell me when you're going there because I might hop over. It's only up the road from me. Because I'm not joking. I, I looked where Billen was the other day and I looked what – I'm doing a car journey next week, folks, and it's going. It's a further journey than that. It really is. Um, I'm going to be travelling for hours. Um, my poor little baby won't know what's hit it. Um, but no, oh, that sounds excellent. So I, you, that's the one to go to. It's an international. If if you guys don't aren't familiar with yeah. Scarebook Fan Weekend, it's an international event. So people are invited from all over the world. You get the best of the best builders there displaying their mocks. Uh, it's it's kind of like a um like e one I mean what's that? there are other big in, like there are other big international conventions but it's like the I don't know I think it's the best one it's, <laughs> well it's in the homeland that's what makes it yeah. kind of cool or yeah. that's sort of the draw there because it's just an hour south of Billen like I said which is the headquarters yeah. for Lego so part of the event there's a few perks that center around a, like a a fall day at at the lego house and mm. there's there won't be this year but previous years there's been factory tours and um i gotta be careful there's other things i, I kind of can't mention like you sort of have it's, to be an attendee to like know about them <laughs> yeah tour. what's that it's like an, it's 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 kind of semi-exclusive really kind of it is sort of like an inside tour um yeah. it's depending on who you know and yeah being at the right place at the right time but it's just it's just cool and groovy You've, you're there it's it's kind of like summer camp for a falls is what it is because wow. it's cool. it's it's where yeah, the yeah. danes go for vacation 
So it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, uh, but there's this giant two hall rec center and then there's like 80 something cabins surrounding it. So you get, a, you get a cabin with your friends, you pack them out and then you just go from cabin to cabin with, you know, food and drinks and you, it's just a good old hangout. Wow. I tell you, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm, I'm in, um, Holly, send me some links or whatever I need to do. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'll make it happen. Uh, even if I have to walk there, folks. I don't uh, know if it's going to happen this year. That's the question mark. Like I have, yeah. I have a cabin reserved this year. I think Catherine, mm. you have, you have a cabin mm. still. Yeah. So we have our cabins reserved. It's just a matter of whether we get the green light for border crossing. So I haven't booked, I haven't booked my flight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me neither. We'll yeah. Okay, it's the, we're debating it. Like those of us, there's a few, um, there were originally there was going to be about 12 or 13 London Affles going, but um, I think about most of them have dropped out now because yeah. they, you know, it's too uncertain. It's um, getting too close to it's, like, yeah, where, it's too close yeah. to say. Um, yeah. And, you know, even though there's vaccinations and so on going on, then it's still, um, you know, we, we still don't know that we'll be allowed into Denmark. <laughs> Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, that or that we'd be allowed to come home without paying two thousand pounds to stay in a hotel quarantining when we get exactly. back. Exactly. So yeah. that makes it an unaffordable trip. That's <laughs> um, a good point. That's, That's a really good point. But um, yeah. But it at, um, uh, in twenty twenty two, um, it's you know it's going to be a big one. So everyone's yeah. going to need to to right. well, register I'll, in lots of advance, will, lots of time advance for that. Um, I would like to be there in twenty twenty two. Then how about that? Um, yeah. Um, you know, Flynn, Flynn from Tricky Bricks is going to be coming over in 2022. He's displaying He's in the mock, mock gallery at the Lego house next yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. So we, but, so everything got deferred from last year. So we all had our cabin re reservations for, for Scarebrick for last year. Flynn was going to go. Flynn and Richard were displaying in the mock gallery. So they pushed all of that back a year. So we just pushed, we just went ahead and pushed the cabin reservations and everything to this year. Mm -hmm. uh, but but I think it's, or no, I guess it, I guess it was supposed to be for this year and it all got pushed to next year. So we're hoping we can push our cabin reservations again to next year. Maybe. I don't know. Cause but it's hard to get a cabin. Know. That's something you should, you guys should know. Like if you're, if you have intentions of going that it's kind of a lottery to get a cabin. So if you don't get a cabin there on site, then you have to sort of find other accommodations, which can be a little tricky. Yeah. But, I mean, there's plenty of other options available, but, mm -hmm. um, uh, but that's the kind of, uh, there's there's a forum and a website and everything like that. Like if you just search up fanweekend.dk, there's a there's a forum and a Facebook group and a website and everything. So um, yeah, just get in touch if you were interested. Then just log on to there, um, talk to other people who are going, meet them, and so on, and and get involved. Can you use the Legoland vouchers you get for free in the um, Lego <laughs> yeah, Kids go for free, sir. You know what we ended up doing? I, I finally, I didn't get to go the first year, but the last year I went to Scarebook, I finally made it over to Legoland. And I went, I think after four o'clock in the afternoon, I think it's free it's for, or just yeah, yeah, yeah. free. Yeah. So that's how mm -hmm. I did it. Because you're so busy anyway. Legoland There's so much going on. I love it. Like if you just yeah. go, if um, if you just go a few times, because for us, it's easy to go to Bill and to go to the Lego house. Like you can just yeah. do a day or one day or two day trip. And so you can just go to Legoland for like four till six p.m. or something, um, and if you just do that a handful of times over a couple of years, then it's kind of the same thing as having you know been there um, much more. But I don't know. Some people some people get season passes and go there all the time. But um, yeah. well, I'm definitely up for 2022 because I, I promised Flynn that I'll take him to the theater in the West End uh, when, when <laughs> the over. Uh, oh, I'm I'm getting, getting, are you, what are you going to take him to see? Um, I think wants to see. I'll take him to anything he wants to see. Uh, we'll, we'll have a, a night on the town, folks. We really will. Well, I might um, be there with him because we've talked about, you know, kind of. The, I, I sort of want to tag along through London on the way over next year. So, well, Holly, um, you're, you're, uh, Holly, come along. The more the merrier, honestly. It made for a great blog. Uh, really my will. living room is yeah. going to be full. <laughs> Yes. people sleeping on the okay. floor. Well I, well, I can share that. I can share that with you. I've got a cabin down the garden. Anyone want to skip down there? Yeah, you can. You, can, you guys can stay in. Um, stay in the Greg's um, the Lego cabin. cabin. Yeah, actually, Lego as a matter of fact, I'm working. I'm working on helping Greg design, like the design, like a layout for his cabin. So okay. I might so, just have to figure out like where to put the Murphy put bed. Space. <laughs> Put, put the bunk, we put the beds underneath the Gondon. Yeah. <laughs> just don't get up quick mm. in the night, folks. Um, now, uh, Titanium, I want to show off a mock that you've been doing on Ninjago. And honestly, folks, it's a beautiful thing. 
Oh, there I go again. Um, but titanium, hold that thought there. There we go. Just, just hold it there for a second. Hold it there for a second. Look at this. We're teasing you tonight, folks. We really are. Because we've got... <laughs> yeah. How, how long can you hold it up for? Um, what, I've, um, what I'm going to bring in next uh, is someone else. Um, and how can I describe this person? Well, this person uh, is, is, uh, is a bit of a monkey kid king you know uh intents and purposes and straight after this stream folks because we're going to end at 10 30 sharp we're going to be then popping over uh to canada um and we're going to be joining him uh for a monkey king themed stream thank goodness i got that out without uh tripping over the words anyway let's bring him in this guy knows a lot about mocking uh, who, who could it be oh well let me bring him in it is indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Kevin, a.k.a. I'm Bored Toys. Hello, mate. Kevin. Hello. Hey, Kevin. Hi. How's everyone doing? Good to see you all. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. It's Kevin. Good to oh, see boy. everybody. I've I got to say, this is a beautiful panel, folks. Is it, isn't it wonderful? Everybody out there shows some love. Now, one thing I will say uh, is uh, we, we've got newbies on tonight in the form of Danny. Uh, we've got Kevin on. Uh, we've got Shion. We've got Sion. We've got Titanium. We've got Cranky. And we've got the wonderful Holly. And all of these people, folks, all of them, honestly, folks, honestly, they have all got Instagram accounts. Uh, and most of them, except Holly, right, uh, I've got YouTube accounts as well. And all their details you will find down in the description below. And while you're down there having a little hunt around for their details, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up as well. So I really do appreciate that. So, Kevin, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, yeah, nothing really to report. I'm just having a nice day and getting ready to build some Monkey Kid and to hang out with Brick Huntress, who's going to come to the stream. Um, she's really cool if you guys don't know her. Uh, mostly active on Instagram with a big account and um, does amazing mosaics and she's just really really chill and it should be a lot of fun yeah, oh we were just talking about I, I pulled this guy out because we were talking about mosaics earlier and Star Wars mosaics did you guys get a did you guys get a glimpse of that one what I the think we did oh you guys seen that one I've seen it. Yeah, I love it. I mean, it's amazing. Of course, if you don't see, if you don't have the reference, if you don't know what it's what it's referenced from, it's not as comical. It's it's, it's certainly not comical to me. It ju I just love. The it totally is now. though. It's it's from it's referenced from like a Japanese bootleg. <laughs> oh, that's toy. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did talk about this. Yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. When you gave me the background, it was funnier. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hilarious, Holly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she does. Holly hops around. I like that. Holly hops. <laughs> Love yeah, it. I do get around. It's the way to do it. Let everybody yeah. else do the work and I just show up. <laughs> you are welcome to join to build some monkey kit afterwards, but I, I, I imagine you have to work. I do. I have to go back to work in about I half assume. an hour, unfortunately. It's kicking That's my butt idea. today, too. It was hard to well, it was actually hard to get a lunch break. You can no. do it, Holly. I'm just gonna throw this out here, folks, because I'm actually gonna start doing a very subtle a very subtle but very cool you honestly folks you will love it i promise you um in a couple of weeks on doing the second uh which is a friday of course london calling you mean uh, july of uh, oh, wait, sorry <laughs> july 2nd do you like no you're quite right you're quite right sorry folks because i'm not a time i can't go back in time uh, i wish i could um, because I buy probably loads more modular sets in all honesty, if I could. <laughs> yeah. I, will, I will be paying a billion pounds for them. But anyway, oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the, um, uh, the, the, it'll be July, folks. 2nd of July, I'm going to be doing uh, another London calling. I think it'll be number 75 then. Oh, God, I, I got that right. And um, it's going to be a monkey kid themed stream as well. Obviously, Kevin's going to be there uh and uh look out for it folks because it will be almost the beginning of something new for london calling and that's all i'm going to say to that really it's going to be something new something new something something about the logo is going to be a bit different to the norm but you'll see in due course my friends but i might start doing a little teaser trailer for it tomorrow because i do love a promo um so anyway 
Um, monkey kid. Holly, you love a monkey kid. I do love a monkey kid. Kevin certainly does, or if he doesn't, he's in for a shock. Um, what about you, Jenny? Do you, do you, do you ever... Do you, do you ever come out of the universe of the galaxy far, far away and kind of stick your head around the corner and say hello to the rest of the things? Um, you know, I do dabble in some other themes, but I'm going to be honest, I have not built a monkey kid set yet. Oh, that's what everyone yeah. says. And then you're they build. Missing out. You're missing them. out. Yeah. I know. Uh, they're all amazing. So. They're all the gateway to more monkey kids. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. Mm. Well, I tell you okay. what, right? I, I phoned up. Who did I phone up today? Leicester Square. That's who I phoned up today. I, there is a, sorry, it's not a person called Leicester Square. It's a shop, folks. And I, I said to them, I said, I know you guys don't sell too many monkey kid sets on uh, in your shops anymore, but will you be will you be uh, selling the new wave of monkey kid sets on June the first, July the first, even? I'll get it right next time. I promise you, Holly. Um, and they said yes. Good. So July the 1st, I will be going to London's Leicester Square to hopefully buy one of the new wave sets. And if I can, Kevin, I'm going to get the Sandy Mech because I think that is actually very good value for money. Oh, interesting. Which, which one? The Sandy Mech. The Sandy Mech. Okay. Yeah. That's my least – like – I mean, I like them all, of course, it, but like when I first saw them, that was the one I was least excited about. Since then, I've learned a little more, but um, the 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 big mech with the glow in the dark pieces and the like the, the bone the bone demon. I have plans for the bone demon. Oh I'm pretty God. excited for it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's going to be turned um, into something else pretty it's soon. Huge! Mm -hmm. How dare you? You better get two of them then, Holly. I'm just kidding. I might. <laughs> what, what, what is the um, what, what, what is the deal with this great big set then? Because I've seen it, it's huge, and it, there's a lot of pieces on it that glow in the dark. And yeah. please, please do tell me that it's got a good side build. Yeah, well, there it's like you can kind of take the mech apart into side builds. So it's like you, you can assemble the mech itself as well. There is a little side build, but nothing as crazy as... I feel like we should building. save this conversation for July Oh, 2nd. we can talk. Everyone wants maybe, to hear about maybe. it every okay. week. Don't worry about it. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we should. But I tell you, just to explain very quickly, the reason I like the Sandy mech uh, is because um, I like mechs, and I like the Sandy figure, but I haven't actually got him. So I said, what a cheap way of getting him. I have too many of them. Do you? You've got, like, Sandy's. Have However many there are, there's like five or six times you get them if you have every set. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> and I tell you what I must get, and I need to speak to Tech about this because I don't think, I think I'm not sure you can still buy it. Um, but the Roadster, uh, there's a Roadster. That, yep. uh, can there, you, still you can get still get everything. Okay, cool. I need to buy that because I'll tell you why, and this is a good segue for you, Titanium J. Um, the Ninjago have come out of a Roadster for their new wave, and that looks amazing as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I want to do a comparison between the two, so I need to build something quick. Um, so yeah, Titanium J52. Uh, we've had a lot of monkey kid going on. Let's show some love for Ninjago, eh? Because um, Ninjago's been going for 10 years. Show us your mock, mate. Yes, uh, let me pick it up here. Oh, here we go. We're oh gonna make up to big here. This, folks, look at that. Oh, so it's the Temple of Virjitsu oh, on the yeah. base plate so that oh, I can okay. connect with the Ninjago modulars. I need that in my life. Yeah, cool. that's yeah. beautiful. Oh, well done. Yeah. Such a hard set to get now. Set. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks I great. Love so good. I love when it comes together. together. I love when it comes together in like a cohesive world. It's awesome. Yeah, give, give us a little tour of it. Um, show, you know, show us around. What, what, what are these buildings and the bridge? What, what are these? Uh, so are they significant. The green building is the smuggler's hut, and the blue building is a little blacksmith. And then the main temple is the temple of Erjitsu, where Sensei Yang trained his students. And yeah, and then Sensei Yang became a ghost and then he haunted this place for a while. And that's his, that's his statue in the front. Yeah, that's old. Uh, what's the room? What's, what's the top railing made out of on the bridge? Oh, that's like um, some some sort of flex pieces. Oh, okay. Like a flexible axle, isn't it? Yeah. Technic axle. Oh, I got you. I know what you mean. Yeah. Cool. I didn't see the uh, I didn't see the indentations in it. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. 
It's Are great. you going to put the cherry blossom tree back on? Which cherry blossom tree? Did it, originally, did it not come with a cherry blossom tree? Uh, well, it had a tree right here on the end, but no, uh, no cherry blossom tree. Maybe it's a vision I've had. Put a cherry blossom oh, tree. Oh, I think you're you thinking put it on that Ninjago island. Docks or Ninjago City. One of those had like the had like yeah, a Ninjago City had a, had oh, a tree yeah. growing out of one of the buildings. What about the the, the, the lantern, the lantern one, uh, Chinese New Year lantern festival? That might have had it as well. It, 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 it looks amazing. Some too. Now, for any Londoners out there, uh, cranky, help me here. Um, the uh, the building in the middle does remind me of a building that you'll find in Kew Gardens. Uh, mm, yeah, there's a Chinese pavilion there. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put this down now because it's really heavy. Uh, <laughs> when okay. I drop it. Okay. All right. Cool. I'll have to stop eating my food now. Uh, nice <laughs> <one>. <laughs> I'm only joking, mate. Uh, well done. You should see him, folks. He's got guns like Godzilla. He really has. Um, so, uh, Sai, si, just out of curiosity, um, have you got a preference of Ninjago or Monkey Kid, or do you actually just do you just like both? No, I like both. When I saw Monkey Kid originally, when I heard the leaks when, when it was coming out first, I was all over it. And that's one of the, the themes that helped the channel grow immensely. Um, like, I even... I didn't stream it. I took a lot of um, photographs from the actual... Um, launch party that they had um, in, I think it was, I'm not sure, it was in Beijing, I think it was, and no one had those pictures at all, so everybody was all over the, those videos, but um, I loved it, I love a new team, and when I saw that coming, I was like, oh my god, this is awesome, because, you know, it was something that we hadn't had before, so I got, I did get uh, some of the first wave sets, um, and I loved them, the builds were brilliant, the minifigures are awesome, I think May is probably one of my favourite figures, or character, really? but I, yeah. I, I like both things. Well, I, I do as well, actually. And I, I, I've even got the I mean, they're right here. And it just shows how much I like them. Do you know, I've got no Ninjago around me, but I've got loads of monkey kids. But this is this is the uh, I think this is the original one, actually. Um, for the CMF it? one, yeah, 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 yeah. CMF one, folks. love it, loving that, mm. and. I'm loving this. Oh, I need to drop to me. I love it. This is one of my favorite little displays. The cloud. That's cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 That, that comes with the mech, right? Uh, yeah. Well, do you know what? The, the, the mech was actually given to. It was bought for me as a present. Oh, wow. Uh, it was a leaving. It was a leaving present of all things. Uh, not <laughs> me, in someone else. The guy that used to run this channel with me, Paul. Hope you're well, mate, if you're out there. Um, he, uh, he bought it as a sort of departing present for me. And uh, uh, I love him to bits because of that. Yeah, everyone with their monkey kit. Here, check this yeah. out. This is my this is my one Ninjago set. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. I, the, it's just the neon parts got me as well. Like it's such a a cool um, it's yeah. a cool. Set. Really like that. And then the big wheels and everything. But yeah, I want to see Kevin's. Let's see Kevin. Oh, this is, this is my only contribution to this little one. <laughs> this is my only Ninjago set. One second, Cranky. We're moving. Nice. And I'd like to just say that, you know, Ninjago and Monkey Kid, though a lot of people equate them in some way, they don't have to be rivals. You can you can yeah. dabble in both. They don't have to be stealing things from each other. They can learn things from each other. And we can all get along and have wonderful, amazing okay. things that we can all buy. <laughs> okay. That's and if you believe that, folks, you believe anything. Uh, anyway. yeah. <laughs> Good old Canadians. Make it a better place. <laughs> Uh, Cranky, Cranky, the bike. Cranky, show us your monkey, kid. Holly. Oh, uh, I was just joking. Holly, keep we've got, for the next we've, five minutes. Um, we've got we've got lots of monkey kid sets, but this was the only one I could reach. So that was the last one I got. <laughs> I love it. This is my most recent. That's why it's uh. It's and then comes with a trans clear menu, the one by two tile. Yep. Ooh. I have a question. Uh, I have a question for the monkey kid uh, peeps on the panel. Is that is that an actual noodle box or is it a menu? What what is it? I believe that's a noodle box. That's a noodle box. Oh, you know, we've got another one here. So uh Holly, get ready with your planes. Uh we've got boats, <laughs> planes, trains, and aeroplanes. Oh, look at that. It's massive, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Oh, I like that one. Uh, I, honestly, when uh, I had the privilege of actually being on the screen with tech production, he was building that in it. 
and I've never seen him look so happy in all my life. <laughs> uh, it, honestly, folks, he, he was it was an epiphany of a build for him. It really was. Um, it was quite. It was. It was lovely to see uh, him all shiny and happy. It really was. So, who was uh, Holly? Holly, what have you got there? That looked a bit like something that Ronald McDonald would fly in, um, but I'm pretty sure it was a uh, monkey kid set. There, there we go. Mm -hmm. That is a bit of a strange looking thing, isn't it? I mean, it, it's, it it's, is a shotgun shell. It throws me off that the that the wings are sort of backwards for how from how yeah. you would expect them. But that is that is actually like a legit aerodynamic design. So, mm -hmm. yep, it is. Yeah, I like it. He's clever. He's a good player on the uh, the monkey form. Really That's what is. I had within reach. Well, that and the spider is always back there. Now, I've got one of those lovely sets. Uh, and Danny, I would recommend this. If you like mechs, because you don't get any mechs in Star Wars, really, do you? Just face it. Uh, an ATST is not really a mech, really? is it? It's, like a tank. <laughs> it's, it's a tank with two legs, let's face it. Um, <laughs> so, if you, I, I'd honestly, I recommend it. It's the, it's the uh, Monkey, Monkey King Warrior Mech, right? Monkey uh, Kid, Monkey King Warrior Mech, yes. That's the one. It's, it's, it's yeah. a right hole mouthful. It really is. Some of the sets and names that they come out with, folks, you think, really? Uh, that's not good. That's At least a hard it's not one. in Chinese. <laughs> well, that's true, actually. I probably say it better in Chinese, in all honesty. Oh. Um, I, got, I got a story about that when I was in Hong Kong, but we'll, I'll tell you about that another time. Um, so I was, um, I was, um, I don't even know what I was going to say there. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, so I love, a, I love a mech. I really do. Um, and the, the problem I've got with the, with, with that, mech that danny is holding up there uh because i can't i can't i can't even bring myself to say it again it's such a mouthful uh it's the head falls off too easily is it me did you have that problem what? kevin the head the, the head the head's always falling off no no honestly if you hold it that sounds like a personal it. problem greg yeah <laughs> uh, what falls off yeah. sometimes but... no, in, my, in my reviews i do this thing maybe i should I actually i do it but nobody actually knows that i do it and I do this thing that if I sneeze, right, I hold in the set. If I sneeze, if, it, if something particularly falls off, it's called the sneeze test. And whenever I do the sneeze test with the monkey kid, <laughs> monkey the monkey head? Head, right, uh, the head always falls off. You, Let's have a look. I mean, that I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> do, right? do the sneeze test. Do the sneeze test. Yeah, do the sneeze test. I can't sneeze. I don't like, hold him there. I'm blind. No, guys, this is ridiculous. <laughs> does it fall, where, where does it fall off? At the pin or at the connection? But yeah, did, uh, maybe. Is it like what I just popped off, or is it? My neck doesn't have a tattoo. I can't yeah. even get the yellow and black apart. So. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, that's not like. That that must be your pieces loose or something. So I would try replacing the pieces or the Technic pins, whatever's popping up, because that's not normal at all. Oh, Brendan yeah. and I like held oh, them yeah. and like hit them against each other really? for like five minutes, okay. and his foot fell off. <laughs> uh, but I fixed that. <laughs> what the off? head? No. Can no I just say, Tate, about just just one more thing I want to say. Just again, it's just something I've I just noticed. But do you think monkey? That do you think the the, the mech? Uh, as, as kind of raided the closet of Loki, because uh, there's a bit of Loki going on there, I think. Don't you? Look, we all take influence from everywhere. We do. I tell you what, though, I'd like to see it. A Loki mech. Just throwing it out there, Lego. I'm going to do one. If I'm I'm working on one. I'm sure. Holly, I, I hope they are. Uh, if Holly's just said that, folks, the chances are it's happening. It's happening. Uh, or, or, she, or she just phoned them up. You can just pretty much you can just pretty much count on it because it's it's in everybody's brain right now. So I love it. Yeah, but yeah. I think the scorpion mech is bigger than this. Like the lady bone demon, I think is taller than this one. Yeah, wow. I tell you what, crazy. Crazy. And just a quick plug, Jamee, who's going to come to the stream, she has the new sets built already, oh, and like no is reviewing them for uh, tips and bricks, and mm -hmm. hoping. Has Jamie been in the chat at all? I'm um, hoping she's allowed to show them and stuff. She was just waiting for some confirmation, but I think she can. Um, so she has all three of the new ones um, ready to go before release. So we're hoping she can show them. But she'll be building this, actually. Both her and Kate, uh, Brick Huntress, are going to be building the mech, which is obviously amazing. I, I tell you what, though, the as much as I do love that mech, right, it's tiny compared to Voltron. 
I, I'm actually shocked how small it is compared to Voltron. Voltron is a big boy. He really is. He's a big lad. Um, have you got him, Holly? Voltron? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to oh, yeah. grab him? <laughs> yeah, yeah on, every him. single set organized by set number. I can uh, I can tell you a Voltron story. It's it's very short, but um, I won. Sorry, <laughs> or at all. Um, I won a copy of um, I won a copy of Voltron, brand new sealed. Um, but I, uh, which was the first prize in our Lug Christmas raffle. Uh, but I yeah. traded it with the person who won the second prize, because the second prize was a complete set used, but complete with boxes and instructions, a complete set of every Ice Planet 2002 set that had ever been released. Oh, and that was apparently the second prize, but I disagreed. So I asked the second prize <laughs> person if they wanted the first prize and they thought that was fine. So we I got a pretty good deal. I would love this. I love this. I built this set with Doc Samson over five streams, folks. So wow. Dang, it's pretty, pretty big. He's, was that an idea set? This was before my time as as a Lego. It was fan. an idea set, and then it was yeah. picked up by Neek. So Neek van Slagma. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing his last name correctly, but Neek. It was the Lego designer. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, awesome. Voltron uh, is is amazing. Honestly, he sold ginormous, folks. He's bigger than most mechs. He's just he sold alone. Um, My favorite thing about this build was that uh, it was a book for each lion. Yeah. So this was one of the few builds I actually got to do with my family where like we could all kind of divide and conquer. So nice. that was awesome. Really cool. uh, yeah. And honestly, the, my, my favorite one is the yellow one. I love the yellow one. Um, but I, I'd love to get another one to, just so I could have the individual uh, animals. I think I call it, sometimes I call them tigers. Sometimes I call them lions, uh, and, 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 and then people oh, miss them. Uh, what are they? Are they lions? Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> what are they? I called them sheep once. That didn't go down too well. Um, <laughs> it really didn't. But uh, so, so, Danny, what's, what, what, have, what have you built recently that you thought, my God, this is amazing? Oh, I built this just now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Bears. That was another one. I called them bears once as well. Again, that didn't go down too well. Uh, but then, Danny, what, what, what have you? What, what, I tell you what. Actually, don't, don't tell me what you've built. Right? You're you're a star. I mean, you're a bigger Star Wars fan as anybody I know. You're you're like a you're like a solo brick builder um, uh, of 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 levels of love for Star Wars. Tell me, right? What set haven't you got that you want to get? Yeah, so a lot of the UCS sets have already come and gone over the years. Mm -hmm. So you could name just about any UCS set, and I probably don't have it yet. Except I did just actually get the UCS TIE Fighter, so I'm pretty excited to build that. The wings on it are like this big. Um, but as for other UCS sets, like the Super Star Destroyer, yeah. that would be like, oh my gosh. Right? Oh, yeah, the I'm not even looking for it because it's just a little bit too far out there. I feel like maybe you know after yeah. some time <laughs> yeah well what do you think of these ucs sets because apparently the millennium falcon it looks amazing it really does but it's an it's a laborious build it really is have you it ever really have, have you got it because it, most star, big star wars fans have yeah we actually have it uh so my brother has actually got three copies of it <laughs> Oh, I told him that uh, he should do something with his with the money that he's earned and invested into some of the best Lego Star Wars that ever been created. So he mm -hmm. did, and really proud of him. So yeah, he's actually got three copies of it. And the third copy that he got here, the box is just a bit damaged. So we figured that's the one that we'll end up building. So uh, my nephew actually built it. He got it for Christmas. It was a big Christmas present. So pretty much he always says, yeah, I didn't get any birthday presents for five years. So that's why it was okay for my parents to buy me this because it is just an absurd amount of money. But yeah, so he got that for Christmas and built it. And so we've seen it and we were, you know, really fascinated. I got the stand from I Display It so that I could actually prop it upright. Otherwise, it takes up the entire desk. It, like his room isn't that big. And so it takes up like half the room. So um, yeah, the UCS are very difficult because I, I had the Star Destroyer um, yeah. uh, from Christmas as well. And yeah, that took me just so much time to build. And so I feel like it's one of those labors of love, you know? It's like having a kid, but then you get to enjoy having it. 
once it's grown up. <laughs> yeah, I'm an auntie of uh, 13. So I've got lots of nieces and nephews. Wow. I don't have any kids of my own, but I just feel like I do because I have so many little kids in my life that are running around. So yeah, the labor of love. So I call the UCS sets. And why did you get into Star Wars? Because um, you're you're not the kind of demographic that Lego are aiming Star Wars at. Um, yeah, so no. I, 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 I'm not disparaging the fact that you're into it because uh, we we have these discussions all the time. Because Friends is something that apparently we, uh, only women are into. I mean, I love it. I really do. Um, but you're crazy. Yeah, Friends, uh -uh. you got me and you got Shy here. Come on. Yeah. Friends I know. I, I love Friends. I, I think Friends is amazing. I, I, I did the first ever stream with, with, with loads of peeps in it. Because I said, guys, we've got to do Friends. We've got to do a Friends stream. It's uh, people saying stuff like that that even keeps the stereotype alive, Greg. You're looking at that. And, and this, is, this, is why we, this is why we've got to bring it out there and get it out there. You know, we've got people like him. This geezer here, this geezer was in the army. Look at him. Well, Marines, let's get that right. Marines oh, take a oh, yeah, great. Okay, no, 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 tell me this. Educate me. Educate me, Shy. What oh, is the gosh. difference between, Here we go. Uh, between the Marines and the Army, then? Uh, just out of curiosity. I, I, honestly, I don't Tra know. Traditionally, traditionally coming from the Redcoats, which are you guys, you're the one that made yeah. us. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Mar Marines are, are, the are come from the Department of the Navy. We're like foot soldiers for the Navy. That's pretty much what we are. Like We come from the sea. Army oh, doesn't yeah. swim. No, no. <laughs> traditionally, oh, no, I, traditionally, I, I, that's how it is in every country. Hey, can I, can oh, I tell you a story? Oh, I, let me tell oh, you yeah. a, a true Navy story. Um, my um, my granddad was in the Navy, and uh, he was a chef uh, for the Navy. Uh, and strangely enough, uh, he couldn't swim. So how about that? Eh? Um, <laughs> a lot of people don't. It's not a requirement. I know. But I, I think I that, the point of the Navy is that you're on a boat, right? Like, yeah, you don't but need for to the swim. Navy, Navy, it's not a requirement. <laughs> yeah, right. But for Marines, yeah, though, it is yeah, a requarement. Like, you have oh, to know how to swim okay. when you're a Marine. Because we're the ones, like, getting off the ship. They go in the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. in the water. Like, we're the ones that actually go fight. The Navy, they fire from the ships. And uh, <laughs> well, that's your seal. Talking, <laughs> talking of being in the sea, in the water, Sai, uh, could you see yourself being a seal? Um, and as the animal oh, it was reincarnated, maybe. <laughs> And as far as the military goes, no. I, one, I'm not tough enough. And um, I'll tell you what, um, I, I have been known to oh. imitate a turtle. Yeah, check this out. Right? Like, imitate yes, turtle. Yes, I was oh, oh, yeah. oh, look at that. Probably a little turtle yeah. head. But, um, the turtle head's a different thing, Greg. But, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but no, no, I, I'm not tough enough to be, to be a, a military person, but I hate the sea, so, and they probably hate me as well. It's a little graveyard, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Yeah. I tell you what, though, mate, I think as a seal, right, the, yeah, the animal seal here, I, I think you'd be very cute, because to be fair, you've got as many whiskers as the average seal has got. <laughs> <laughs> he never shaves! Anyway, <sighs> I... Oh, I was going to tell a story about Seal then, but Holly's uh, 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 nodding her head at me, so I shouldn't. I've been, I've been, I've probably been naughty. Um, so anyway, folks, uh, anyone who didn't tune in tonight, you, it looks like you watched a very boring game of football, uh, if anyone's watching this back. Uh, the end result in the Euros 2020 is uh, England nil, Scotland nil. Uh, definitely one to watch back uh another time but there we go good stuff if anyone did watch it let me know in the chat fooling with bricks are you out there mate what, what did you think was it a good game or was it not um let's take a look um <laughs> uh <laughs> Brick scenes being timed out <laughs> yeah yeah who timed him out uh is he being naughty um he doesn't think football's coming home oh anymore. i know who timed him out can you ask, <laughs> does it not show you it does yeah it check time you uh, who did? Oh, did he? Ah. <laughs> timed you out. Oh, look, Solo Brick Builder disappointed. Ah, Solo, you should have joined the stream, mate. There we go. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, then no one lost. That's nice, though, isn't it? That's isn't that nice? It's it, it's like Kevin. Yes, so. It, it's the taking part that counts. I mean, uh, so anyway, um, so uh, curiously, uh, Danny, uh, I've never seen actually anybody move so quick on a stream before uh your, your agility uh your speed your dexterity going from where you're sitting to where you're 
uh, mosaic was 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 astonishing in all honesty um do you, are, you, are you actually into sport because of that uh yes i played lots of sports growing up i did ice hockey in uh, high school and then rowing like crew rowing uh in college so um i very much love sports i'm actually into wake surfing right now because we are landlocked in the midwest of the united states so there's no real waves unlike Sai, i do love the ocean probably part because i don't get to see the ocean often but if i did live near the ocean i would hope there'd be waves so i could go surfing Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So, Greg's just working on all of his stereotypes today. We've just got we've got <laughs> the boys who are into Star Wars. Um, what was the other one? No, Girls who no, are into just... friends, and then um, streamers are couch potatoes. <laughs> I am. I am. Just through it. all of them. When yeah, I when I started nothing. streaming, folks. Uh, I was about two stone lighter, um, and uh, but there we go. I'm just saying, uh, COVID, uh, you know, the lockdown hasn't helped anybody. Uh, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to be I'm going for a run tomorrow. I'm going to get up. Uh, I'm going to do luck. a vlog. I'm going to go for a run, Greg. I'm going to go for a run. I, I, if I have a heart attack tomorrow, folks, uh, you never see me streaming again. Uh, you know why? Uh, I won't wow. be I won't be running in the Adidas traders though. Uh, probably because I've not actually got a pair of them. But there we go. Uh, just a detail. Um, so anyway, uh, I want to know. Uh, starting with Cranky. Um, uh, Cranky looks like she's got a McDonald's uh, Happy Meal going on there. Uh, uh, Cranky, uh, that, that is the McDonald's Happy Meal, isn't it? No. Oh my God, it's Duplo. What? Oh, no. you know, I'm going to buy a Duplo set. I, I better, me and Tech are going to yeah. do a Duplo set. Oh my God, look at this, it's actually quite good. Yeah. Really cool. Check out the, the opalescent trans clear star piece that hollow yep. in the back. Uh, you know, lots of potential. That's so cool. <laughs> I love it. I no, I'm just I, using the box to hold a load of other pieces for what I'm building. So, uh, not, not. It hasn't taken me how how long are we to. It hasn't taken me two hours to build this Duplo set. Hey, I tell, I tell you what, that's good compared to what me and Cy on this channel. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. yeah no, believe it, Cranky, you're, you're breaking me records just building that one set alone. Uh, take it from me. Oh no, um, there are records that cannot be broken. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so, interestingly enough, then um, for the uh, for the uh, for the Adidas trainers, uh, Cranky owns a pair, don't you, Cranky? I might say that. Um. Well, wait. Sorry. Are we obviously, I don't own a pair. I don't, don't own the new set, new brick built set, right? No, no. I the, have the yeah. first the first ones that were released, the kids ones, the yellow the ones. One? Yeah. I have that pair. Okay, you. Got I that. have the red and blue ones. Yeah. Oh, Holly's straight in there. She's she's got the red and blue ones. I've like got the red and white ones, the newer ones. Okay, that's good. Blimey, I was going to ask who, who who's got them. It could be more like who hasn't got them. Oh, you've got a pair, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, black. Okay. Titanium. Have you got a pair? Oh, titanium. Um, titanium. Have you got any of the hype clothes? The, the Ninjago hype stuff? No. Nope. Oh, dude, I'm going to have to send oh, you. Yeah. I'm going to buy something for you. I'm going to send it to you. All right, um, Kevin. He's got the Adidas trainers. Um, I have, I've got a lot of the Levi's stuff too. I, I was going to ask Shy, but uh, he's, he's, he can hear you. I, I think he's there. I think he's actually shrunk. But we, <laughs> he's he's oh, got the Lego invisibility cloak. Yes, yes. Oh, I like what's going on there. Plum, he's got. Look at that. Oh, hold on, he's back again. The seal's back. Uh, quick run. Um, so Shy, Shy, time is my time. Um, have you got any of the Adidas pairs of trainers? Like real, real trainers? Yeah, I do somewhere. Yeah, the the, the the real ones. Have you got a pair? Yeah, I do. They're in a closet. Oh, <laughs> phenomenal. I need to get a pair. Folks. I'm gonna go. I need to get myself down Reed Street and buy a pair. Uh, yeah, they're you? mine. They're really, they're really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm. this one. Yeah. Nice and cranky. Uh, Danny, have you got a pair? I don't, but I was kind of wanting to get some. I just uh, haven't yet because I keep spending money on other Lego sets. <laughs> I like yeah. It. I like it. I think I like your Lego. Oh, oh Blummy. I thought, I thought Blummy, Simon's got very dexterous and he's, he's not. He's just taking his shoes off. No, they weren't on me there. <laughs> I, I've, I've only worn them four times, but like they have like a fake little, it's not a proper brick. They've got the Lego inside. Yeah. I put an insole in because I don't want the Lego. You might be able to fit some Laws blocks on the bottom one. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know why they didn't put any proper studs on those. It wouldn't have been. I hard know. Hard. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. I'm going to mistreat. I like the bit inside and stuff, but um, I think they're pretty good. Yeah, I thought that was, oh. I thought that was going to be a proper brick. What, what, what size are you, Sai? What size? What size are you? Eight. Oh boy, here we go. Eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm only asking what your size is. Uh, he's uh, he's any old. Um, size eight is a good size. Uh, I think. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with that. Help, help me, cranky. Help. <laughs> where are you? Uh, oh, you're up, you're yeah. true. Hey, show what, how big are your feet? Inquiring <laughs> minds, come on. Yeah. Uh, size 10? I'm a size 10. Size 10? Size 10? Blimey. Liar. You're only you're like like L. If you're a size 10, you're like L shape. Five nine. Size 10 is. That's what? Right? That's, that's, that's adequate. That's, that's normal size. Yeah. A five nine shorter than you, Greg. I don't know how to tell you what I'm he was a seal, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I don't. I mean, maybe I think the American size is a, a slightly bigger than our sizes, aren't they? Yeah, they, yeah, they are. They're different than yeah, European they're... sizes. Yeah. Oh, you know, how, you know how they like to embellish everything in, in America. <laughs> I know. Like the thing that's worse, though, is that like at least the European sizes are completely different, but the UK and US ones are almost the same, but like yeah. one number or half a number out, oh, okay. which yeah. is way yeah. more. Confusing words. In Europe, it's like thirty something, well, that's forty right, yeah. something. You know? uh, right. Euro size. I, think, I don't know why I didn't put that together. I used to work fashion. Know, I'm a Euro oh, size. That's what I am. Yeah. Oh, Euro size. Ooh, so we've got Euros, uh, American, and English. I, I like don't know it. if I'd brag about that size. Well, it's first <laughs> yeah. compared to his nine. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm I mean, five a U, nine. A US, four 10, four okay. U, US ten. Okay. US, US ten. ten. Boom, US 10. That's like getting the mic and going, boom, I'm a size 10. What is that? I'm going to look it up now. I love it. I'm actually, in case anyone ever wonders, oh my God, I love them. Oh my God, Holly, I couldn't have picked a better color. Aren't those great? Unless you pick the yellow ones, because I like the yellow ones. So these are the kids that I have a red pair, so the only ones I didn't get were the yellow ones. But these are the kids' shoes, but they go up to a US 8.5 in women's, which is a proper like adult woman's yeah. shoes. Why did they not make these oh, the proper sizes? It's I don't know. Inferior. I love them. Yeah. Like this is a this is a the shirts too. It's yeah. a UK six. So right. So they didn't. The, they went up to UK six um, here, but five and five, five and a half and six that. sold out in like seconds. Yeah, they go. But they I'm go four and a half. To... So they didn't. They, they didn't have anything bigger on the website for us. Oh really? I think they because yeah. I because I actually got a size up from this and they were too big and so then I had to go get go down a size. Yeah, because they're not in women's size, so we have to do. There, there are that was what saved me is that they're slightly oversized, so like a four and a half. Because normally I'm between like four and a half and five. Yeah, but these uh, are so cute though. I love them. Yeah. And, and now so my son, than the adults ones. so but my son is only a half size behind me, and so he's oh. I had to get him his own pair because once, of course, once I got them, he was like, "Well, where are mine?" I was like, "Oh, right, kids. I guess I should get <laughs> the kids some shoes too." Um, <laughs> and then, but we can't tell them apart because they're almost exactly the same size. So he just ends up wearing my shoes most of the time. Gross. I, I think these are great. I, I like these better than the than the adult style. I ones. like them. They're wonderful, mm -hmm. honestly. Oh, I love it. Yeah. The perfect choice of colors, right? Very American, red, white, and blue. And, and sometimes I do one blood and one one blue and one red together. You, you call them blood? Oh, really? Well, you actually can we do that? Is that socially acceptable that we can we can wear two different Lego trainers? Yeah. As, as long as you don't Who's slide into a children's ride and then fall out on the ground, you should be fine. <laughs> I thought about that. I might do that one day. He's I, I, asking I, about different colored shoes when he does any number of things to embarrass himself in public. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're you're worried about your shoes when everyone's staring at your iPad, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I, that I, I, all I'll say is I sometimes forget where I am. I, I was in a meeting the other day. I, I'm not joking. This week, I think it was yesterday, I was in a top corporate meeting. I said, I, I've just thrown this idea out there, folks, right? But should we start off every every meeting uh, with a phrase from uh, a quote from Star Wars? And they said, no. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Uh, honestly, oh, that, was, oh, that was shut down, closed down, sealed, thrown away, that idea, within seconds. I love that. And that is the truth, folks. I, mean, I wore my, um, I went into the office today. That's why I was late at the start, because... I got Ooh. I got vaccinated today, so yay! Um, and but then I had to go to the office afterwards, and um, I went wearing my um, I didn't wear my Lego shoes because it was raining. 
but I did wear my holographic silver Lego backpack. So nice. nice. Yes. Just like live, have a little bit more joy, Greg. Don't worry about what other people think and ask whether it's socially acceptable. Just do it. I, 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 I do honestly. It, 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 with tech, it, it tech it does lead me on a little bit. He's he's uh, he's a bit naughty. He really is. Folks, I tell you what. All I say is all the, all the bits that he's rude and he edits out. Uh, but there we go. Uh, but he's he's a fun guy to be around. He really is. Uh, we do it genuinely have a laugh. We really do have a laugh. He's he's he's, he's like he's like the little brother I never had. Um, <laughs> He's a really nice day. He was he was up early this morning messaging me at seven o'clock. Uh, I don't think he and Sai ever sleep. Like no. I don't think he does. I didn't I think, think Apol's slept. Isn't that how we yeah. maintain this? Oh, hobby? I need at least 14 hours. Really? <laughs> I, I can go <laughs> by with three. <laughs> not yeah, really. 14 hours, not, yeah. Between 10 and 14 is nice. 10 and 14. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is a week's worth of sleep for me. Blimey. That's that's the life of a teacher right there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a yeah. professor. I have to use very specific brain cells all day long. Very, very tiring. <laughs> yeah. To come up with the jokes I come up with in chats is very exhausting. Really? <laughs> I can understand. It's time to be funny. <laughs> Kevin, are you? What is it? Ven I nearly said ventriloquist then. Uh, linguistic uh, <laughs> professor, isn't it, or something? Or, or is it a yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I tell linguistic. you what, right? I tell you what, just, I'm just throwing it out there, Kevin. Just throwing it out. It's an idea for you, right? Next lesson that you do, well, we call them lessons. I don't know what you call them. Um, lectures. But, uh, lectures, sorry. Do we lecture? Uh, but in the form of a ventriloquist. Can you do that? Would that work? Does that come across as, as a linguistic Take thing? the monkey kid thing with you and like... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to do it, but nothing came out. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Anyway, let's have a little move around. Let's have a little move around because uh, oh, no. uh, I'm going to bring Simon down here with me. I call Simon. He's, like, he's, like, he's been naughty. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's, no, only, there's only two people calling me Simon, and that would be my mother and Ty the Lego guy. Uh, Ty the Lego guy. He calls you Simon. So I, Guys, I, I sometimes call 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 Simon. If we all work together, we can all call him Simon from now on. And then you're all banned from the channel. Well, well, yeah. Well, Simon you know? on show. On a you're really going to ban 10,000 people? I don't, I don't like. I don't like. When I was younger, I wanted to be called Robert. I thought Robert was a way cooler name than Simon. So Simon uh, Moss is here. <laughs> sorry about that. And Simon in the chat, sorry about that. But I like it now. Don't get me wrong. I want to I'd say you what. Can we call it, what about Gregory and Simon? Gregory, <laughs> I'm just going to start calling you Bob. Yeah. yeah. Bob. 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 Bertie. Oh, you want to call me my Bob? Call Daddy Bob. Uh, can we, can we Daddy. Daddy. Yeah. She said she's Daddy. Daddy. Danny Bob, no, actually, Danny Bob. I'm surprised. It's catching on. A lot of people call me Danny Bob now, and it feels pretty normal. I like Danny Bob. I think, yeah. I think it's quite cute. It's like it him. Kinda... I don't know whether we're calling Titanium or Jay. It was off the tongue. Or 52. It, 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 yeah. it, it baffles me. It really does. But most things. I answered to Cranky now. It just. <laughs> like... Crank, I love Cranky. Yeah, I love Cranky. Look. Yeah. It's cranky, you're wonderful. Yeah. You people really just... are. Holly's wonderful as well. Actually, everyone we get on here is wonderful. I'm very lucky. Um, who's that? So, Lego Danny Bob, um, you've got to depart these shores of this stream shortly. Um, so, so, with that in mind, something I always ask everybody who comes on. Um, uh, don't worry, it's nothing rude. It's just basically going to ask you what you're up to in the next week. What's your favorite so. transformer? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> hey, oh my god, blimey, she's never given me for that one. Okay, out of curiosity, have you got? Are you, was you ever into Transformers? Uh, when you were younger? No, actually, I watched the movies and I kind of wanted the toys when I was little, but um, okay. didn't catch on. I got the Bionicles instead. Oh, the Bionicles, <laughs> oh, oh, that sounds like something you go to the doctors yeah. about. Oh, I got the Bionicles instead. I got the Bionicles. Uh, <laughs> All right, so just out of curiosity then, instead of Bumblebee or Optimus Prime, have you got any potential favorites, uh, Transformers that you like? Uh, I've only said that because no one, nobody knows anybody uh, other names. This is not no, the question there, there, yeah. there was a show. I remember watching a show when I was a kid. And uh, there was a. Uh, Megatron, Megatron, Megatron. Megatron. Oh, is something, for some reason, I'm thinking Megatron. Oh, good shout. <laughs> good shout. 
I like that. Yeah. Good yeah, answer. Yeah. Nice one, Danny Bob. Anyway, okay. on top of that, Sorry. Danny Bob, more, more <laughs> exciting than that. Um, tell us what's coming up from your channel in the next week or so. What's just dropped? And just out of curiosity, uh, are you going to be doing a Transformers review any time this century? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get back to you on the Transformers one in this century. I think it's possible to fit it in there with my backlog schedule. This upcoming week is going to be Harry Potter week. So I'm breaking out Ooh. the big set on Sunday. It's Diagon Alley. This set was back order for two months. So when I got it, I was pretty excited. And I want to like, I want to crank it open as fast as I can. So we're going to do that on Sunday and crank out all the new Harry Potter sets next week. I did just release my Sith art review um, yesterday. So you can go check that out. Um, otherwise, we are doing the Tuesday, Thursday videos, streams on Sundays, and fun stuff on Instagram. So you can go check out my channel and my Instagram there. Wowzers. You, that, honestly, Danny Bob, you are doing a lot of stuff. Um, Thank you. Wow. Um, and, and you work as well. That's incredible. That's amazing. Yeah. It, it really is. Blimey. Uh, well, good stuff. But like, like we were saying earlier on, folks, AFOLs, we just don't like sleeping. Uh, That's right. Uh, we we, we sleep. can all blame Jang on that. Um, he, he never seems to sleep. He's, he's up at curious times of the day. He really is. Um, anyway, uh, Danny Bob, you take care. Lovely to see you. Uh, thank yeah, you for thank being you here. So Look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. And um, and she should be coming onto my channel on Thursday if if it works out. Yes, yes. if it works out. I like that. Don't know what that means, folks, but apparently uh, it, it well, we have to meet in the middle. The, yeah, it, the timing. Yeah, yeah. I've got to finish up work and make it work out. <laughs> yeah, we, we got it. We'll make it happen. All right, um, Lego Danny Bob. Good uh, to meet you, Danny. It. Take yes, care. Yes, nice meeting you all. Thank you, you so much. Again very, very soon. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see you uh, soon. Oh, <laughs> oh no, poor Jay's by himself. <laughs> No. Well, I have to go soon too, so he'll take he'll take my spot. I mean, I'm lunch is over. <laughs> oh goodness! Yeah, it is. I'm just trying to finish up the um, everyone is awesome set. I'm so close. So oh, yeah. I need to get the stream lunch. ready. <laughs> yeah, well, well, this is the thing, Kevin. Uh, yeah. Now's probably a good time to hype up uh, your your All stream. Right. The, yeah, the I'll uh, I'll go and get ready. I need to grab some food before I stream too. So maybe I'll just do my. Do a hype. Well, okay, give us some hype, Kev. Give us some hype. All right. Um, I feel like I want to do like a at six foot two with size twelve feet in the U.S. wearing his Lego Adidas shoes. <laughs> he has a room tour video ready to be posted tomorrow morning. Uh, so yes, we have a room tour video coming. Finally, 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 everything's done. It's exported. It's ready to go. I might even do a premiere if I want to hang out with people. Um, but before that, uh, right after this, we are going over to the I'm Bored Toys YouTube channel. Greg's going to drop a link in the chat. Greg's going to join me. I'm pretty sure Tech's going to join me, but I haven't had I haven't heard from him in a while, so I don't know what he's doing. But um, Tech, I think you're coming at least for a bit. Uh, Greg's going to build a whole poly bag, is my understanding. Yes. Um, <laughs> before he goes to bed. And we're going to have uh, Jamee, uh, bricks and mortar, is going to okay. be there. Um, ideally, she'll be allowed to show those new sets um, that she's built already that have not come out yet but are coming July 1st. And this will be my first time properly streaming with Brick Huntress, um, who normally is hanging out on Instagram. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And tomorrow we'll stream at our normal time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern time. And um, I'll be finishing up this build. So I actually don't have any monkey kid left to build. I built all of it. Uh, so instead I'm gonna work, I picked up this. This was one of my sets that I really wanted. Oh, oh yeah. Um, and it just so happened that my local Bricklink seller had it for a decent price. Like once you factor it, I didn't have to ship it and all that stuff. Um, so this is going to be like a gateway into my Monkey Kid amusement park. I'll kind of mod it. And like, obviously, these food stalls are perfect for an amusement park area or yeah. whatever. So I'll start building this today. We'll finish it up tomorrow um, on our stream. And that's it, I think, for us, other than videos coming out here and there. So head on over. Join us at – we'll start – I mean, I'm going to start at 5.30 Eastern time. Yeah, and, uh, I'll make you, sure you've started, and then what I'll do yeah. is I'll just tell everyone to raid. I call it they, on Twitch. They call it something like uh, the, the the train raid, don't they? Cranky the raid train. It's called a, it's called a raid. Yeah, 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. but like but literally your out. stream just becomes their stream. And so like, you yeah. don't have to do yeah. anything. Automatically ship everybody. I can't believe like YouTube should just be on that, but yeah. I mean. I know, I know. Well, me and Tech did it the other day with a premiere. So Tech yeah. premiered, his, his video is like 15 minutes long. Uh, mine was obviously a lot longer than that. My, my bloody poly bag uh, reviews are longer than that. Um, and we basically went from my from his premiere into my premiere, and it was awesome. Loved it. And that's what, exactly what we're going to do tonight, folks. We're going to go from here to Iron Board Toys, and uh, so effectively we'll raid. And I'll, at the last second, uh, oh, and I should note this mosaic back here. We've been filling it, so you know we've been filling in our mosaics. This one for subscribers as we get to a thousand and this one for watch hours and this hasn't been filled in for two weeks and if we get 65 hours of watch time on the stream tonight that will get filled in tomorrow we will have hit four thousand watch hours which is insane with the number of subscribers we have so um if you haven't been hanging out you're missing out as far yeah, as I'm i can i can lurk while i'm working for the rest of the afternoon but nice. i do so have to throw it on let it run until I'll tomorrow <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, california well, congratulations mate all you got to do right is just get your sub count up and um hopefully well, we'll get some that's tonight. not my fault i can only make i only have so much time to make fake accounts guys <laughs> um, <laughs> i think i'm sub to you with every account so I've already contributed to that. Oh, I know I have. I have to, right. I've, I've got one alternative account. I'll see if that's sub. I, I only use one to like go screenshot videos that I post when they're like come. Sometimes they're harder to see on your phone. Anyways, that's the only thing I use it for. But yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I'll see you soon, Greg. Um, and hey, everybody else, nice to hang out and enjoy the rest you. of your lunch hours. And I'll Take see care, you. Uh, uh, I'll see you when see you soon, Kevin. Bye. 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 Ah, uh, okay. Right, okay. Let's have a little shuffle. Every day I'm shuffling. Okay, almost, where we go? Almost I'm done. I'm gonna pop myself there. Oh, hold on, I've uh, I've uh, I've gone to full screen on my side here. Don't do that. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put Cranky over this side. I'm gonna put Holly over here, uh, and I'm gonna put Titanium there. There we go. Yes. It's wonderful. Wonderful. It really is. Um, so uh, I've got I've got to ask, uh, Shy. There's something catching my eye to my to the right of your screen. So it's to your left. What is it? Something flashing. Go down a bit. Down a bit. Down oh, it's my bit. it's just my it's just my work laptop. <laughs> it's work laptop. Why is it flash at you? Is it uh, is it telling you you're not working hard enough or something? <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a PC. I don't know what PCs do. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have to work on a PC computer for work. Oh. Bummer. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm saying, have, you, have, you, have you started something new? Uh, yep. I, and I can't disclose it on here. <laughs> okay, no, I, we won't say nothing. Don't worry. I can tell you on the side, but I can't tell you here. Uh, we won't say nothing. Uh, we won't say anything. Don't worry. Um, but no, that's cool. I, 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 I could just tell you, uh, everybody is very habitual. And when think things start doing things differently, I always think, oh, what are they up to? Um, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the, the, my previous two career choices, like I was, I can be very open about what I do and I filmed it in my vlog so you could see it. But like mm -hmm. the career choice that I just fell into right now, I can't be public about it. I know so. what it is. He's a man in black. He goes around <laughs> yeah. he's erasing no, memories. He's he's or something. It's, it's a medical me. device. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing something for like a medical device company. So like I can't disclose a lot of the things that I do because it's like, yeah. You know, confidential. So yeah, that, that's I, cool. I work in the film industry, so I can relate. Can't really talk go. about much there you at go. all. Yeah. Oh, here we I, go. Feel, I have exactly yeah. the same thing. It's just that I no one wants to ask. Like we, you know, we're all like under <laughs> NDAs oh, and like we're not allowed to reveal stuff. But it's oh, like oh, no then. one ever wants to know. So I, I feel cranky, like what do you do? Now. Uh, cranky, what do you do? Um, I'm an engineer. Um, I design buildings, so our clients oh. are always like you know like major developers or whatever and you have like ndas that you can't reveal like you know upcoming powers in big cities and that kind of stuff because there's like you know someone someone is no one's ever called me up to be like can you leak the plans of this building you know like they're in a film or something um, <laughs> so yeah it's much less cool sounding than uh, than those guys <laughs> <laughs> Holly, uh, everyone does it. I think everyone should sign an NDA before we come on here. Um, Holly, lovely Holly, the awesome Holly, I should say. Uh, show, us, show us what you built. Oh, the everything is awesome. Is that? Yeah, that's Ooh, the one. I love that. I love how you changed it up. Yeah, yeah. Alter alternated. Yeah, a little bit more of a gradient there. 
<laughs> Take care, Job. That was a quick build. That was perfect for like a one hour stream. I actually built one the other day on a two hour stream. Uh, so so that, that shows you for a fact I'm 50% slower than you are uh, at building anything. Um, I actually didn't even start it halfway through the build. So apparently it shouldn't have taken you more than 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took me about three minutes as well. Right. To wear right. rubber in, kick a man when he's down. Uh, Where's the flex tape? Yeah, yeah, tape. <laughs> yeah Faye's got it to hand. Cool. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to throw it out there and thank you so much, uh, Connor, for I telling me about this. Folks, uh, check out Netflix. He Man is coming back. That's all I can say. It's amazing. Um, now then, I see something that is amazing. Hey, we've got family bricks out there. Has he been watching the football tonight as well? Mm -hmm. uh, good to see you, Matt. Uh, which side is he supporting, though? Um, the winning good, one. Good question. Yeah, the winning one. Um, well, that would be Scotland then. <laughs> well, uh, apparently, uh, what they're saying, Cranky, and th this is not me saying this, this is what the papers are saying. They're saying Scotland won because they didn't lose. It, yes, that's what, that's what I just said. Like, Scotland not losing to England is about as big a win as we could have hoped for. So I'm glad, so, I'm glad. in all honesty, I think there'll be lots of celebration. In all honesty, and please don't tell any other English people this, I'm glad that we did draw because the Scots are still in with a shout of getting through. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's for the good of the United Kingdom, folks. But there we go, a bit like this stream. Now, before we all go, because we'll be wind, winding down in 14 minutes, uh, as you well know, uh, let me show you some more pictures, a picture or so, um, of some stuff. Oh, I have to go. I have to be in a meeting. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. And the answer to the transformer question is Soundwave is my favorite. Soundwave. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just the same as me. Soundwave is the same as me. Laser awesome. beak inject. Woo. All right. Take okay. care, Holly. Lovely to see Good you. Fun. Uh, Bye, guys. Bye. I oh, have to follow her. He's going <laughs> Not as well. Literally, but I need to get back to work. Mass Exodus you know, for the banks. <laughs> Even right. though I was technically working the whole time, I have to literally jump on like a call. <laughs> oh, okay. Can <laughs> you keep him with your mouse? All right, take care, mate. Take care, Sean. Bye. All right. Did anybody yeah, I, want I, I, have to, I have to go as well. Bye. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> We're all just joking. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Uh, the, <laughs> I'm only joking. Well, well, <laughs> I was uh, yeah, anyone who works from home, come on, you know the thing. Just keep touching the mouse every few minutes or so. Um, <laughs> anyway, look, we're, we're winding down in a moment. We are. We, we've all gone back to five. Anyway, we take the score off there because um, uh, we don't need that on there. We, it's old news now. It is. It's just yeah. us. It, it all feels very red, white, and blue. Is it me? Is it? Uh, just again, an observation. So let me show you some more pictures, folks. Um, who have we got pictures from? Uh, we've got pictures from Redmond. Uh, he's going the 10th doctor. He's got a picture of London Bridge as well. Uh, I think it's a video of it. Oh, I'll show you to you in a sec. Um, but let, this is uh, this is quite cool. This is the 10th doctor making modifications to his TARDIS. I'm liking this. I love a little story. Anyway, very quickly, let's show you this look. His side's gone very close to the camera. Um, how cool is that? I like that. Oh, and no, Catherine, Catherine. Catherine has sent a post as well. Uh, what, <laughs> what has Catherine sent me? <laughs> I just sent you a picture of what's on my desk. <laughs> just sorry, <laughs> carry on. Carry on. I love it. I love it. Catherine sounds so formal, doesn't it? Um, there we go. This is wild, Catherine. <laughs> oh my God, that's cool. It's really cool. Look at his eyeballs. Sorry, style. carry carry on with your um carry on with your messages. If we've got no, no, no. time, I love, I love it when people message me when I'm showing things off. Uh, don't send me anything rude, folks. But if you do, we'll do it in about fifteen minutes. Um, <laughs> we got <laughs> uh, we got this from Doc as well. Look at this. Look, he's going crazy as well uh, with the old. Uh, Everybody oh, is awesome. That's love cool. That. Loving That's that. what um, somebody in the chat said that he should do that as well. Oh, definitely. Have studs will travel. Oh, this is so good. Have studs will travel. This is literally awesome. Ah, oh, yeah. That's isn't cool. That, isn't that good? Love the sig fig as well. Dude, that is a really nice sig fig. I really like that. Let me have a look at the comments, see what's going on out there as well. Um, hey, Lester, good to see you, dude. Love a bit of Leicester. Um, um, Minarch. Oh, Minarch. This is cool. Uh, it says, one of the bolt sets I have 
pieced together. <clears throat> there we go. Oh my god, cool. I like that one. That is a cool set. Oh, apparently, uh, Mark, Mark B has sent me a message as well. I said, Get me while you came. There we go. Let's have a look at what Mark sent me. He's typing as well, he's typing away. Uh, he's uh, oh, I do like your tabletop cloth. Um, this is uh, that's all, folks. Now, I almost tried to get into stuff like this with, with the old IKEA, the IKEA rib, I think it's called. Frankie, you'll know what that rib is. Rib bathroom. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, he sent me a message as well. Apparently, Mark B says, uh, completed the Looney Tunes uh, collectible minifigures last week. And, dude, honestly, Mark, it looks amazing. It really does. Like I said, I do like your table, Bob. It really, really does. Uh, anything else? Let's have a look very quickly. So I've got to be quick, folks, because I'm on a I'm on a deadline tonight. A deadline of all things. Um, where are we going to go next? I think there was Jarv. Here we go, Jarv. Is there some photos for you, Greg? I completed that mock in the middle that I started on your stream last week to complete my Chinatown. Honestly, folks, Jarv Bricks knows how to build a city. He really does. Look at that. So cool. It's very cool. I tell you what, folks, that is, I've got to be honest, quite a, like, it's like a little peek into what the Gondon's going to look like because it's going to be a big Chinese Ninjago themed kind of um, sense about it. Uh, Brickbeat, he was on earlier on. Uh, he has sent me some pictures of his, um, uh, I was going to call them mittens, uh, but I'll be quite wrong. Uh, that is, of course, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Uh, had to get solo on the stream. Had to get solo on the stream. Uh, Matt has just sent me something uh, saying, had to get solo on the stream. There we go. <laughs> this almost looks like I'm holding it up. There we go. <laughs> uh. he, he, was in the, he, he was in the chat earlier. He's changed his avatar, Matt, over to that picture. Uh, you might want to charge him for that. Uh, just, just saying. Um, so let's have a look at um, da, da, da. anyone else. Anyone else? Anyone else? Send me. Oh, fooling with bricks is a top guy. It says I finally finished my wood garrison castle. If you want to show that, seems to have been very popular on the castle Lego Facebook groups. And quite frankly, my friend, I can see why. Look at that fooling with bricks. It looks oh, amazing. Lovely. Oh, I love mocks on all those old base plates. That's yes. yeah. Yes, it's very cool. We've got Bricks Toys out there. Hello, Bricks Toys. I've not seen you for ages. Great to see you, dude. Hope all is well in your neck of the woods, mate. Um, it's really, really cool to see you, dude. Uh, let's do this and let's see if anyone else, because sometimes people send me stuff at like, like Thursdays and things like that. And they wonder why I forget to show them. Uh, oh, this is cool. I like this. Uh, this is from someone called Jay. I'm not quite sure who Jay is. Sunset Porsche 911. I've got a feeling he's from the UK, you know, judging by the vehicles behind him. Look at that. It's a nice picture, isn't it? I like that. You're a nice light. Has anyone ever driven a car with wearing a crash helmet? I can't think I've never driven either. a car. Yeah, well, I, I have actually driven oh, one no. car. Where I had to, by law, wear a crash helmet with it. I've got the name of it now. It's one of the fastest cars in the world anyway, but it was... Um, I can see why, though. The G-Force on it, blimey. Uh, it, it, it was like... It would like pull your skin inside out and your face. It's like weird. Um, but anyway, um, I forget what it's called. It begins with O. If anyone can help me with that. Um, oh, this is nice. I like this. This is uh, from Kazoo Robot. Uh, this is some, uh, what was that? Sue? An Osprey. No, it's not. I'm joking. It's a helicopter. That's a, a helicopter. Oh, that's a helicopter. The Osprey is a helicopter. Um, no, it's, it's called. Uh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me later, folks. Uh, tune in for the next uh, stream. You'll find out what it is. This is from uh, Kaju Robot, and he says, Hi, Greg. Uh, if you get a chance, please share this mock I made of a futuristic race bike. Sai, you're going to love this. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Like I like that. that. Beautiful colours. Beautiful really colours. Cool. I'm liking that a lot. Um, Doc Sampson says, Matt. Solo Brick Wheel says, Greg. Family Brick says, Good day, Doc Sampson. Nice, Greg. Yes, Greg. In a typhoon. <laughs> Greg in a typhoon. Yeah. What's Greg in a typhoon? I'd say Greg in a typhoon would have uh, a serious hair malfunction. Um, and that's it. I think that is it. That is everybody's pictures tonight, folks, I believe. Thank you so much, as always, for sending them in. I really do appreciate it. I love showing them off. And you lovely lot out there are, of course, 
awesome. You really are. As is my panel as well. We've got six minutes to go, folks. I feel like we... we, we uh, is, is there anything... I'll tell you what we do, right? Before, because we're, it's weird having a bit of a, uh, a deadline. Uh, it, it's kind of funny as well, though. It really is. Um, <laughs> and I've got a rough. I feel like I've got to squeeze it all in while we can. Um, Panky, you're from the land of Twitch. I mean, um, when are you going to. No, well, you're, you're coming out with new insults for the Scottish whole time. I'm not. We, and, uh, what, what, was <laughs> what, uh, what did I do to insult the Scots there by saying you're, you're one of those Twitchers? <laughs> <laughs> honestly folks it's all about the nuances with her it really is um when are, when are you going to be twitching next because I, I love getting that email when that email comes through uh email. to my inbox and it says cranky is, is streaming live now and then you turn on twitch and then i get i get some um audio books uh uh advert and then boom there you are. that just means you're not subscribed to my channel then greg is it uh, i follow your channel or, or is it do i do, do i do, do i get, no sorry uh, that was a joke it's fine there's absolutely no obligation oh <laughs> i'm sorry um, I, I, I might i might i might oh. I, like you. I think you're very good uh you're and you are the best twitcher out there you really are um tell oh, us you can say that you... <laughs> i don't think there's anyone else here to, to contravene <laughs> that but well, I'm, I'm I'm quite right. Um, but no, you are you are honestly. I, I watch you. Well, put it this way, right, folks. There's a lot of twitches out there, right? And uh, I I watch Cranky more than anybody else. I really do. Um, no, you're very relaxing. You, you you very good choice of music, um, and you do very good sets, and uh, and you do some great mock stuff. So when are you going to be uh, twitching next? Um. So I, um. I stream twice a week, shed, shed, two scheduled streams twice a week, <laughs> which is 9pm um, on Wednesday, which is 1pm PST, um, and somewhere 5pm five, 5 East Coast, I think, um, yeah. or 6pm uh, on a Sunday. Um, it's a bit more, you know, a bit longer, a bit more relaxed on a, on a Sunday, and um, that's 10am Pacific. Um, and this, uh, on Sunday, there's, there's no Tricky Brick show on Sunday, I don't think. So um, oh. everyone could come hang out on my um, show instead. We don't have to divide our attention and have both streams on at the same time. Um, okay. So that's on Sunday. And I will probably, um, so fingers crossed, um, I don't have any side effects from my jab and I will be on top form on Sunday. Um, I'm gonna be carrying on working on uh, my latest mock, which is this one. I sent you a photo of. Uh, which is my beach. Oh, here we go. My beach island, uh, my tropical island. So, oh, it's a bit too bright. Let the light adjust. Might take a minute. Oh, no. Uh oh. It looks amazing. I love the way you've got the depth there of your. Uh... Sorry. Make it darker. Oh, I don't yeah. know if it's going to help. It's, the camera seems to be really weird in this. So, sorry. It I might be. It looks better than this when you're on Twitch. The YouTube, the um, don't blame YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm blaming. I'm blaming. Yeah, I'll just blame. I'm blaming you, Greg. Oh. Um, anyway, it's you can't really see it too well in here. But anyway, this is our um, uh, a, a Paradisa Tropical Island, um, which is I'm dropping things. Oh no! Uh, so I have a beach bar here that has some glasses hanging from the ceiling that have now just fallen off and they're somewhere under my laptop. Um, it but it, because I'm building together with my subscribers, um, I'm building a um, Paradisa themed uh, tabletop game that we're um, all, we're going to role play together um, on the channel. Uh, so that's why the photo I showed you to begin with that had the um, the minion looking slightly scared into it. This is um, one of the perils as part of the Paradisa peril game. So everyone, all my subscribers who um, can live on the island here, this is most of them. Uh, there's Slug Biker here at the front. Uh, she's a little sloth. Um, uh, so they all, uh, they can all um, hang out on my island and um, undergo a few adventures together that we're going to design on the streams together. Um, and uh, there will be some interesting adversity. There is some, some a toxic spill of pina colada. There is um, the pit of Ooh. it, which is the non-IP infringing generic sand monster pit. Um, which contains a uh, sandworm of, um, of unknown origin, um, but it also has a cocktail bar and um, and a beach um, and a zombie shark and a few other things going on. 
So I mean, there's a lot going on there, Cranky. Um, phenomenal. So, yeah, I'm going to be working on that a bit more on Sunday. I don't work on it every stream because, you know, we need to shake things up a little bit. Um, yeah. But that's my long term project right there. Fair enough. Um, so moving on quickly, I've got to go up here now because we, 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 we're going over time, folks. But I'll put a I'll put a link in the chat in just a sec for, for the next stream, folks. Uh, te uh, titanium, um, is it? Are you doing anything at the moment, or are you are you are you just kind of hanging around streams at the minute? I'm I'm mostly just hanging around streams. I'm I'm probably going to do a video pretty soon about the Temple of Erjutsu, and oh, nice. I've also ordered some of the new Ninjago sets from Germany, so. Hopefully, when those arrive, I'll do a Germany. whole video on that. Yeah. Well, that's kind of funky. I'm yeah. liking that. And that, other than that, I'm just hanging around streams. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully, we'll see you very soon again on this stream, my friend. Because I, I love having you on Titanium. I really do. You're one of the first bots I think I ever got on. Um, Care of Brick Hive. Now, someone else I love to see streaming and love watching their videos as well especially on tiktok uh is you so kind of what's coming up from you in the next week or so mate oh yeah speaking of tiktok i'm gonna try and reboot some of the stuff on tiktok I'm trying to get back into doing reels on instagram and as greg always says we all have instagram and tiktok accounts and everything else so check us all out in various different places um videos obviously incoming and next week next thursday i will have two lego masters series one finalists um ash and flesh should be dropping in for a little while as well and um, then all the usual peeps i think minus greg unfortunately um because he has to i don't know do other things that are important I'm, and uh, he's going drinking with the lads um I'm, no no i mean i mean transit on that day uh, oh, believe yeah. it or not yeah i'm in transit well actually i mean it's a funny one uh, I'll, I'll tell you after. I'll tell you after. Basically, I'm... he's in a big limousine with his entourage going party, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, one of those limousines you've got to stand up in as well. Um, but it's, uh, uh, anyway, I'll tell you about that another time. Sorry. Exactly. Uh, so the stream will start at eight instead of half eight um, because one of the people needs to start early. So we're going to start at early and probably finish the same uh, time. So it'll be really cool. So eight o'clock next uh, Thursday. Uh, my channel for the Cycon Lego uh, live stream. And yeah, just keep your notifications on. Hit the bell with the top bell because the other bells don't do anything. And uh, yeah, see you all soon. Namaste. Yeah, ding dong. Okay, cool. Uh, well, folks, um, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I, I would like to say what's coming up from me. Well, next week, if all goes well, uh, get the next vlog out. It'll be week three of the cabin. Uh, that's going to be coming out, so uh, look out for that. Um, I'm going to be doing another video, actually. I'm trying to think what's another video I'm going to be doing. <laughs> no, I, really, I just can't remember. Oh, I know I do. I'm going to do a review of a magazine. I think I'll do Blocks magazine this weekend. Uh, that, that always seems to get uh, some nice karma. People seem to like those ones. So I'll be doing that. Uh, and also as well, uh, Wednesday, uh, 8 o'clock, I'll be streaming with Cy. And then I'll be back next Friday uh, for my... Uh, number 74 stream, which is very exciting. So what is very exciting is that we're going to be popping into another stream quite shortly, folks, and I'll be popping that in the chat in just a sec. But first of all, I want to say thank you to the panel for being here tonight. Thank you, Cranky. Um, uh, you, you're awesome. You got through it. Well done. Uh, you look great. Uh, and she's had a jab. She's had a jab today, folks. I'm not talking about a jab from a boxer. I'm talking about the vaccination one as well. No, you're a jabs either. How do you feel, Frankie? How do you feel? I'm okay. It's been like six hours, so I'm yeah. not sure it's safe yet. But yeah. like, I'm doing okay. <laughs> I had a dead arm and I Thank wanted you. to sleep for three days. That yeah. was it. But that's yeah, normally I'm quite, quite sleepy, but. Uh... Yeah. But, uh, you, but you, as Greg said, made it through. Had a good yeah, time. Made, so thanks for hanging out, everybody. You made it through. You really did. So I thank you for being here. Uh, uh, Jay, thank you for being here as well. We had Danny in earlier on. She's amazing, isn't she? We had Holly in as well. She's awesome. She really is. And Shire and Kevin. And Kevin is where we're going to be going next, folks. It really is. So I'll pop it in the stream in just a sec. But anyway, uh, it's not about the panel. It's not about me. I love him. I love her. And I love him down there wherever that in, in there, over there in the red i love him but anyway i'd like to say thank you to gary Malone, uh Menarch as well snatch with bricks uh brick high he was in there went lovely to see him family bricks as well uh even solo brick builder was there too and tech productions even he flirted in the chat 
for a little bit as well. And I'd also like to say a special thank you to Fooling With Bricks uh, for popping out that lovely story uh, earlier on on Instagram. But anyway, folks, that is it. That is London calling number 73. And all I like to say is uh, keep wearing the masks, uh, keep washing your hands, be kind to each other, be kind to yourselves. And Lego, and Lego is a wonderful thing. And do you know what a commentator once said, Cranky? Why? They, they think it's all over. <laughs> well, it is now. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.